at your feet. At your feet, yes, Lord, we come. At your feet, yes, Lord, we bow. At your throne, yes, Lord, we bow. At your throne, yes, Lord, we bow. We worship at your feet. 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 We come before your throne. Lord, we come before your throne. Lord, we bow before your throne. You are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords. Oh 
up, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. The king is here. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. For the glory. That's for the man.
Ready for revival? Are you ready for him? God is ready for revival. Are you ready? Wake up! I am the bruise, God of mercy, on the hill. Drunk of your spirit, we're getting drunk. We're getting drunk of your spirit. We're getting drunk. We're getting drunk. We're getting drunk of your spirit. We're getting drunk. We're getting drunk of your spirit. We're getting drunk, we're getting drunk, we're getting drunk of your spirit. We're getting drunk, we're getting drunk of your spirit. We're getting drunk, we're getting drunk, we're getting drunk, we're getting drunk of your spirit. We're getting drunk, oh. We're getting drunk. We're getting drunk. We're getting drunk. We're getting drunk. We're getting filled. We're getting drunk. We're getting drunk. We're getting drunk. Your kingdom must come down. 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 Your kingdom must come. Yes, your kingdom. He has your power. He has your kingdom. He has your glory. A lot of presence. He has your kingdom. He has your kingdom. He has your kingdom. He has your kingdom. He has your power, He has your glory. He has your kingdom must come. He has your glory must come. We want to see you today, oh God. We are in need of you, oh God. We are in need, oh God. We want your glory. We want your glory. Yes, your kingdom must. Yes, your 
glory must come down. Today we want to see you, God. Do something new in our life. Yes, your kingdom must come down. Yes, your glory must come down. Yes, your kingdom must come down. Yes, your kingdom Only the people. Yes, your kingdom. Come on, declare it to him. Your kingdom. Yes, your kingdom. We want your glory. Come on, declare it in this place. Yes, your kingdom, Lord. Yes, your kingdom, Lord. Only if you are desperate. Yes, your kingdom must. Come and challenge him. Yes, your kingdom must come on with more power. Yes, your kingdom must. Yes, your kingdom must. Yes, your kingdom must. We want to see you. Yes, your kingdom. Yes, your kingdom. Yes, your kingdom. We want to see you, God. We need your power, Lord. Yes, your kingdom. 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 Yes, your kingdom and your power and your glory. Yes, your kingdom and your glory. Yes, your kingdom, Lord. Yes, your kingdom, Lord. Yes, your kingdom, Lord. Yes, your kingdom, Lord. It is yours forever and evermore. We break every other kingdom. We trample upon the kingdom of darkness. Yes, your kingdom. We overrule every darkness. Yes, your kingdom. Yes, your glory. Hey, yes, your kingdom. Yes, your kingdom. Yes, your glory, Lord. Yes, your kingdom. Yes, your power. Yes, your glory, forever, evermore. Yes, your kingdom. Yes, your glory. Yes, your power, forever, evermore. Yes, your kingdom. Yes, your power. Yes, your glory, forever, evermore. Yes, your kingdom. Yes, your power. Yes, your glory. Forever and ever more, 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 forever and your glory, 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 and your glory. Yes, your kingdom must come down. 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 Do something new, oh God. Yes, your kingdom must come down. Yes, your kingdom must come down. Yes, your 
Ki na mozgom dam I jeszcze glom i mozgom dam I jeszcze pału mozgom dam I jeszcze pik na mozgom dam
Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, 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 With the sound of your clap, with the thundering sound, ah, 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 yeah. ah, ah. Hallelujah. You can go back to your seat. 
And as you are going back to your seat, I want you to high five your neighbor and say, neighbor, it is very good that you came. Come on, high five somebody say you did very well by coming here. High five iemand te zeggen, je bent heel goed gedaan om hier te komen. Come on, high five your other neighbor. Come up, high say, five are you your ready for you. today? And say, bent u klaar voor vandaag? Amen. Amen. I want to welcome everybody to Dunamis 2023. Ik wil iedereen verwelkomen naar Dunamis 2023. Was somebody blessed yesterday? Was iemand gisteren gezegd? Come on, I want to see the hands of those that were there for the Kom night vigil. Kom op, ik wil je zien. Zijn Where die waren voor de real warriors at? Waar zijn de echte strijders? Amen. I believe we are in a revival. Ik geloof dat we in een opwekking zijn. Is there somebody that believes that with me? Is er iemand die dit met mij gelooft? Oh. I said, is there somebody that believes with me that we are in a revival? Die gelooft dat we in een opwekking zijn. You know, God is doing great things. Weet u, God doet geweldige dingen. And I want us to stay in this atmosphere. En ik wil dat we blijven in deze atmosfeer. We're going, we're about to be ministered to. We zullen tot bediend worden tot ons. Through dance. Door dans. And I want us to understand one thing. En ik wil dat we één ding begrijpen. God has many ways of Moving. God heeft vele manieren van bewegen. It's not only through the word of God. Het is niet alleen door het woord van God. It's not only through the word of prophecy. Het is niet alleen door het woord van profetie. But God also moves powerfully through dance. Maar God beweegt ook machtig door dans. So I really want you to open up your heart. Dus ik wil echt dat u uw hart opent. And I want you to be ready for what God wants to do. Is that okay? En ik wil dat u gereed bent met wat God met hun wil doen. Now I want you to softly speak in tongues where you are. Nu wil ik dat u zachtjes in tongen spreekt waar u bent. I don't hear you. Ik hoor u niet. Come on, where you are. Waar u bent. I want you to softly speak in tongues. Ik wil dat u zachtjes spreekt. I want you tongen. to prepare your spirit. Ik wil dat u geest voorbereidt. As ignite is taking the stage. Hoe ignite op het podium komt. I want you to clap your hands wil ik very dat u loudly. Applaudisseert heel luid. The enemy is camp. He wage war. Russian. Asta. War. He wage war in the heavenlies on the enemy's camp. He wage war. Say we wage war. We wage war in the heavenlies on the enemy's camp. Say we wage. We wage war. Fight, fight, fight. The Lord of hosts, fight, fight, fight. he fights for 
us. The gates of hell shall not be
to go crazy on this one, all right? I'm going to leave it for God to do something. Let's go. I sweet touch you with my I sweet touch you. I know it's coming. I don't have to see it, but I know it's coming. I don't have to see it, but I know it's coming. I need you to learn that. I don't have to see it, but I know it's coming. I don't have to see it, but I know. I don't have to see it, but I know. Shall it not come to pass? I don't have to see it, but I know it's coming. Everything I need. I don't have to see it, but Somebody I know it's coming. Somebody help me, I don't have to see it, but I know. I don't have to see it, but I know it's coming. I feel it happening now. I don't have to see it, but I know it's coming. Somebody get ready for your breakthrough. I don't have to see it, but I know it's coming. Say, I don't have to see it, but I know it's coming. That's right. you probably thought wouldn't happen. Yeah. What was improbable? Anybody has some statistics set against you? Let me see you. Where you at? It looked like the numbers weren't in your favor. But what if I told you what was improbable? What probably wouldn't happen? God says is he's about to turn around in your favor, not even because of what you've done, but just because you're his child and he's God. So, whew, lift up your hand and say, what was invisible?
coming. I don't need a cheerleader to know it's coming. I don't need you to tell me I know it's coming. The doctor's not the one to tell me it's coming. God is. The doctor's not the one to tell me it's coming. God is. Hey, you're not the one to tell me it's coming. God is. If he said it's coming, hey, then it's on the way. If he said it's coming, then it's on the way. Come on, make a loud book. shout. Come on, can you do it louder for Ignite? What can you do it louder, dude, for sure? 
Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Wow, that was extremely blessed. Dat was extreem gezegend. Dunamis, are you ready for the next part? Dunamis, bent u klaar voor het volgende gedeelte? I'm not gedeelte? really convinced. Are you ready for the ik next part? Ik ben niet echt overtuigd. Bent u gereed voor I'm het volgende? I'm not sure if I'm convinced. I said, are ik you ready niet. for the next part? Of ik ben part? overtuigd. Bent u klaar voor het volgende gedeelte? Amen. I want us to welcome to the stage. Ik wil dat we naar voren verwelkomen. A very special woman of God. Een hele speciale vrouw van God. She's my spiritual mother. Ze is mijn geestelijke moeder. She's a prophetess. Ze is een profetess. She's a wife. She's a wife. She's a worshiper. She's an ambitious. She's an intercessor. She is a forebear. She's a phenomenal woman. She's a geweldige and vrouw. And she is entering and coming up. And I want us all to stand on our feet. Ik wil dat we allemaal gaan staan. To welcome. Om te verwelkomen. The first lady. The first woman. Of RTN. Van RTN. Apostolic Center. Apostolic Center. Prophet Shannon, come on, Prophet make a Shannon, sound. Prophet Shannon, come on, make a sound. Come on, make a sound. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is there anybody excited is there to iemand? be in this place? And to show them here to Who say. knows that something historic is happening in Holland right Wie now? Dat and you are part of it. it. And you are part of it. I want you to make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Come on. Let me hear you shout. Let me hear you shout. Hallelujah. I am, I am here not for... A long time. Ik ben niet hier voor een lange tijd. I just quickly want us to shift this atmosphere. Maar ik wil dat we heel snel de atmosfeer veranderen. And I want us to lift our hands this moment and close our eyes. And I want you to begin to speak to God. Come on, lift up your voice and begin to speak to Him. Let me stem up and begin to speak. Father God, we give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory. Come on, I want to hear you speak to the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, speak to him. Let me. I, 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 there are enough people here. I want you to open up your mind and speak to God. We came here for him. Come on. Can the musicians help me? The choir help me. I want you to lift your voices. We didn't come to worship man, but we came to encounter the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Come on, begin to open up your mouth and speak in the language of the Holy Ghost just for a minute. Resondare metelicante preco salitaia. He shall daliman de lebro suatina messia calebe suataia. No, 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 masuata de besuate de kishante in abricante le besuadea. He da 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 masianda da masia candele le le belsaia. Le case fitani bria si candele le bestofira. Yahweh Rafa Elohim Shaddai Chire Adonai Se manifestará Come on, I want to hear you say, say Yahweh. Say Yahweh, say Yahweh. Come on, loud. I want to hear your voice and sing unto him. Say Elohim. Elohim.
begin to speak in the language of the Holy Ghost. I need this atmosphere to be shifted. And I believe that when we gather as this, that the power of God and the glory of God will come down because there are a hungry people. They came from all over the place to gather so that God's name can be glorified. I need you to take a moment and lift your voice. Come on, I want to hear you. Come on, choir. I want to hear you. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. Resta ma con de verse di casa e remette le dede che c'hai Rema sante de blo sotto la brezza de brezza che le dea Levanta la ma sante de remette le brezza de brezza che ha bajato Rata la ma tonda che de le mesho ranalita Reponde le me de le mesu a de la chiesa I can de vinicali vitu ni misante Proposta precoce prese de precoce Ricante le moshaya We declare a shift in the atmosphere We thank you Spirit of God For your presence, for your power We thank you for your angels in this place We thank you oh God That we have gathered here Unto your glory We thank you for glory that's coming down we thank you for power that's coming down. We thank you for your spirit and your presence. We thank you, we thank you. Record the Melatiga Namana. Red eleven eleven delegate eleven again. Roman eleven days and eleven sea and eleven sea. Red the Namasia Namaha. There's a groaning in the spirit, and I 
feel it in my belly There's a groaning in the spirit And I feel it in my belly There's a groaning in the spirit And I feel it in my belly There's a groaning in the spirit close our eyes as I pray. Father in heaven, Father in the hemel, I want to give you thanks for this window that has opened for Holland for deze wind wat de Heer heeft geopend voor ons. And this window that has opened for Euro. En dit raam wat geopend is voor Europa. And I want to thank you. En ik wil u danken. For doing whatever you say that you will do. Dat u doet watgene wat u zegt dat u zal doen. For out of the ashes. Want uit het as. Another generation has risen. Is een andere generatie opgestaan. And I want to thank you. En ik wil u danken. For a torch you are placing in somebody's hand. Voor een ander stof wat u plaatst in iemands hand. Now, Father, I ask you. En u vraagt. Cause heaven to respond to us. Spirit of God. Did you not say that you will cause it to rain tonight? Spirit of God. Did you not say that you will cause it to rain tonight? Spirit of God. Did you not say that you will cause it to rain tonight? Therefore I come before you en daarom kom ik voor u. with my hand lifted Met mijn hand and I ask the heaven en, to open wide en ik vraag de hemel om zich te let openen. powerful angels begin to descend let powerful angels begin to descend let powerful angels begin to descend let celestial beings begin to come down en hemelse wezens neerdalen. in the name of Jesus, in de naam van Jesus the son of the living God Zoon van de levende God oh, all kinds of impartations will begin to take place. Er zullen allemaal soorten impartaties plaatsvinden. All kinds of impartation will begin to take place. Er zullen allerlei soorten impartaties plaatsvinden. I say all kind of impartations will begin to take place. Er zullen allerlei soorten impartaties plaatsvinden. If you are here, en als u hier bent, and you are hungry for Jesus, en u bent hongerig voor Jezus, as you are praying, de wel u bidt, all kinds of impartations will begin to take place. I want the entire assembly to begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. If you want to walk, walk. If you want to go to the altar, go to the altar. 
But tonight is a night of impartation. All kinds of impartations are taking place. Lift your voice. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. La breco sopra andava a sette le beanta, le panna va a sette le breanta pea, la baza bade zabadava a telepaha, ya pali mi capa, a mali bi capa, rapande le be e sopra i tapa, li panni mi apa e sopra e paia, la vanni mi apali apa. Zabana ma kapali a pataya, repene me ko suprende ya, li panda ba e soto lo brokonsia, le panda ba i kantele e ya, la idi bi antaya, rapani mi a sopre ya, zabani mi a pa, le penda le be antele be anta, li pini mi a panda le 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 bosoto, ri penda le be antaya, lo brokonsuprende le be itera, atini mi anto ko supre ya, li vende me. One more minute, lift your voice and pray. Let us clap for Jesus one more time. Come on, somebody make some noise, give God praise. I say, make some noise, give God praise. I say, make some noise and give God praise. Amen. Amen. We bless God. We're gonna enter the word straight away. We're gonna enter the word straight away. But we, it's okay, man. 
Let us clap for our wonderful musicians. Laten we klappen voor onze the instrumentalisten. They are doing. We are grateful for that. We zijn er dankbaar voor. We want to bless God for all the servants of God. We willen God zegenen voor alle dienaren van God. And I want us to clap our hands as we mention their names. En ik wil dat we onze handen gaan klappen wanneer See, we hun namen gaan noemen. Apostle Palette, Apostle Yolanda. Apostle Yolanda. You. Thank you so much. Dank jullie wel. We love you and we are grateful for we you. We houden van u en we zijn dankbaar voor I u. I see my own mother. God ik zie bless mijn eigen you. moeder. God, God zegen u. Clap your hands better for my mother. Clap That's your hands better for my mother. Pastor Manny from Ireland, Dublin. Pastor Manny from Ireland, Dublin. Minister Paul. Minister. Prophetess Doris. Prophetess Doris. My parents-in-law are here. My schoonouders are here. Pastor Joanne, Apostle Jolly. Pastor Joanne and Apostle Jolly. Let us clap for my parents-in-law. Come on, let us clap for them. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. Minister Laurencia, Pastor Mayele. Minister Laurencia, Pastor Mayele. Come on, don't get tired. Honor Come Christ. on, please move or blijf to clap. Evangelist Nicholas, Mama Sophia. Evangelist Nicholas, Mama Sophia. Honor them well, musician. You help me. Here, sir, help me. Doctor Sanjeka, Evangelist Tyrone, Minister Evangelist Walter. Evangelist Sanjeka, Evangelist Tyrone, Minister Walter. Minister Roland, Minister Roland, Apostle Elisha, Apostle Elisha, the Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. We were yesterday blessed by the ministry of Pastor Randolph. Let us celebrate, my friend, my brother. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. And let us our hands clap for God's And we are so grateful. And we are so thankful that Minister Theophilus is with us today. Let us celebrate grace and we welcome the men of God in Europe. The Lord bless you. Shalom, shalom. You can do better than that. Let's do better than that. Let us welcome the life and the ministry of Minister Theophilus. Amen. Amen. And. He will be ministering tonight. And for now, will he be dealing to us? And once again, we are so grateful for you. And nogmaals, we zijn zo dankbaar. One more time, Europe, let us welcome Minister Theophilus upon the continent of Europe. You can do better than that. You can do better than that. Amen. Amen. How many of us? We were blessed by the ministry of Apostle Aroma yesterday. By the blessing of the bedding of Apostle Aroma. Let us honor grace in his absence. Let us honor grace in his absence. I am just the John the Baptist. I am just the John the Baptist. Apostle Aroma will walk in shortly. Apostle Aroma will come so with him in the lobby. And we want to listen to what the man of God is saying. And we will like to listen to what the man of God says. Bear with me for thirty minutes of your life. So take thirty minutes of your life to me. And we will do the little we can. And we will do the little we can. But I am grateful. But I am grateful for my wife, for my wife, my prophetess, my intercessor. My prayer warrior, Prophet Shannon Gazer. Come on, let us honor grace upon the life of our prophetess. The Lord bless you. Thank you so much. We are grateful for you. Take your seat. Neemt u plaats. Give me, give me thirty minutes. Heeft u mij dertig minuten? The truth of the matter. De waarheid van de zaak. Usually, I only host dynamis. Eigenlijk host ik alleen maar doen om eens. En according to what we have planned. En dan gaan we de planning. Somebody else supposed to stand here. Moet iemand anders hier staan. Because I do not like to preach during dynamis. Want ik hou er niet van om te prediken tijdens dynamis. But I believe the Lord wanted me to stand here today. Maar ik geloof dat de Heer wil dat ik hier zal staan vandaag. Give me thirty minutes of your time. Dus geeft u me dertig minuten van uw tijd. And the Lord will help us. En de Heer zal ons helpen. Let us. Open Acts chapter one verse twenty. We open a handling of Acts one verse twenty. Let us be in our feet to honor the word of the Lord. And let us go stand in the word of the Lord. And from there we will build it up. And from now there we will build it up. It says. Thank you, Spirit of God. Then Peter, turning around, saw the disciple whom Jesus loved following, who also had leaned on his breast at the supper, and said, "Lord, who is the one who betrays you?" Peter, seeing him, said to Jesus, "But Lord, what about this man?" What about this man? 
For it is written in the book of Psalms, let his dwelling place be desolate and let no another man take his place. Somebody say, let another man take his office. And somebody say, and niemand ander zijn ambt nemen. You may be seated. And you mag plaats nemen. I will entitle my message. Ik betitel mijn boodschap. Since when is Saul among the prophets? Sinds wanneer is Saulus de midden van de profeten? Since when is Saul among the prophets? Sinds wanneer is Saulus de midden van de profeten? Uh, the Bible says. And the Bible says. As Elisha died. Toen Elisha stierf. He died with the anointing. Stierf hij met de zalving. Because there was no generation. Want er was geen generatie. Violent enough. Gewelddadig genoeg. To inherit the grace that was upon Elisha. Om te erven de genade die was op Elisha. Elisha died with the anointing. Elisha stierf met de zalving. Because there was no generation violent enough. Want er was geen generatie gewelddadig genoeg. To inherit the grace that was upon him. Om de genade te krijgen die op hem was. And the reason I know that Elisha died with the anointing. En de reden dat ik weet dat Elisha stierf met de zalving. Is because a couple chapter later when another man died. Is omdat een paar hoofdstukken later toen een andere man stierf. The Bible say they placed the man in the tomb of Elisha. Zegt de Bijbel dat ze aan die man plaatsen in het graf van Elisha. When the man came in contact with the bones of Elisha. En toen die man in contact kwam met de botten van Elisha. The man revived back to life. Kom die man weer terug tot leven. I want us to understand one thing. Nu ik wil dat we één ding gaan begrijpen. In the absence of apostles and the apostolic ministry. In de afwezigheid van apostelen en de apostolische bediening. We will see waves of revival. Zullen we vlagen zien van een opwekking. But the actual thing that we're supposed to see, we will not see it. Maar het echte ding wat we moeten zien, zullen we niet zien. Give me two minutes to build what I'm going to build with you. Geef me twee minuten om te bouwen. Wat ik met u wil bouwen. Apostles do more than preaching and teaching and laying hands. Apostelen doen meer dan prediken en handen leggen. Apostles have the ability to raise an apostolic people. Ze hebben de mogelijkheid om apostolische mensen op te bouwen. So that when the revival is dies, zodat wanneer oh, de opwekker doodgaat, the revivalist won't die with the revival. De opwekker niet doodgaat met de opwekking. Whenever there is absence of a generation, wanneer er afwezigheid is van een generatie, who we can trans Transfer the mantle and the anointing to. Aan wie we de mantel en de zalving kunnen overdragen. We will see waves of the spirit. Dan zullen we vlagen zien van de geest. It will come. En het zal komen. And it will go. En het zal gaan. Elisha died. Nu Elisa stierf. With oil on his bones. Met olie op zijn botten. And a mantle on his shoulders. En een mantel op zijn schouders. There was no generation after Elisha. En er was geen generatie na Elisa. That was violent and prophetic enough. Die gewelddadig en profetisch genoeg was. That the mantle and the unction upon Elisha could be transferred upon them. Dat de mantel en de zalving op Elisa over hem kon overgedragen worden. There are two things that I want us to understand. Nu er zijn twee dingen die ik wil dat we gaan begrijpen. Not every gift is a gift you are born with. Niet elke gave is een gave waarmee je bent geboren. Jeremiah chapter one. Jeremia hoofdstuk 1 vers 24. Are we zijn we samen? Are we together? Zijn we samen? I say, are we together? Ik zeg, zijn we samen? Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 4. Jeremia 1 vers 4. The Bible says. De Bijbel zegt. Before you were in the womb of your mother. We hebben zich voordat u in de schoot van uw moeder was. I had ordained you a prophet unto the nations. Heb ik u aangezet als profeet tot natieën. Which had nothing to do with his prayer life. Wat niets te maken had met zijn gebedsleven. It was an office. Maar het was een ambt. He was born with. Waarmee hij geboren was. Now in the book of 2 Timothy chapter 1. Nu in het boek van 2 Timotheus hoofdstuk 1. Paul said to Timothy. Zei Paulus tot Timotheus. This thing in your belly. Dit ding in uw binnenste. You were not born with it. Je bent er niet mee geboren. Stir up the gift. Nu wek de gave op. That you have received. Wat je hebt ontvangen. By the laying on of my hands. Door de handoplegging. It wasn't something you were born with. Dit is iets waar je mee geboren bent. It is something. Is iets you inherited wat je hebt geërfd by the laying on of my hands. Door de handoplegging. Two things I want you to understand. Nu twee dingen dat ik wil dat u gaat begrijpen. There are certain things. Er zijn bepaalde dingen. You are not born with. Waar u niet mee geboren bent. Listen carefully. Nu luistert u voorzichtig. 
But not because you were born with it. Maar niet omdat je er niet mee geboren bent. Doesn't mean it won't be the primary aspect of your ministry, your calling, your office and your destiny. Betekent dat niet dat het geen hoofd iets kan activiteit kan zijn van je bediening. There are certain gifts. Er zijn bepaalde gaven. A man is born with. Waar een man mee wordt geboren. And there are certain gifts. And there are certain gifts. By the age of 35. By the age of 35. You have never seen it. What you nog nooit hebt gezien. The word of the Lord that came unto me. Nu het woord des Heren komt tot mij. He said, "Tell my people." And he said, "Vertel mijn mensen." Under this cloud. Under deze wolk. I will re-identify them. Dat ik ze opnieuw definieer. I speak and I prophesy. Ik spreek en ik profeteer. The Spirit of God ministered unto me. De Geest van God bediende tot mij. He said, "Tell my people." En hij vertel mijn mensen. I will re-identify them. Dat is zo opnieuw identificeer. Paul said to Timothy. Nu Paulus zei tot Timotheus. The prophetic dimension within you. De profetische dimensie is in uw binnenste. You weren't born with it. Daar ben je niet mee geboren. The dimension of the apostolic within you. De dimensies van het apostolische in jou. The river of intercession. De rivier van opwekking. The spirit of a prayer warrior. De geest van een gebedstrijder. Tell him he wasn't born with it. Zeg hem je bent er niet mee geboren. Some of you, maar sommige van u, by the age of 30, bij de leeftijd van 30, you have not laid hands before. Er is nog geen handen op u gelegd. You have not prayed for six hours before. Je hebt nog geen zes uur lang gebeden. You have not prophesied before. Je hebt nog niet geprofeteerd. You are not among the elite. Je bent niet in de midden van de elite. The Spirit of God ministered unto me. Maar de God, de Geest van God bediende tot mij. He said, "Tell the arena." Hij zei, "Vertel de arena." Among the congregation. Dat in de midden van de mensen. I shall re identify my people. Ik opnieuw mijn mensen identificeer. They were known as the prophets. Ze werden niet gekend als profeten. They were known as the prophet of the prayer warriors. Ook niet als gebedstrijders. They were known as the intercessors. Ook niet als de voorbidders. But under this cloud. Maar onder deze wolk. I want to re-identify them. Wil ik je opnieuw identificeren? As a matter of fact. In feite. The Lord want to re-identify Europe. De Heer wil Europa opnieuw identificeren. This gospel. Dit evangelie did not start in Africa. Startte niet in Afrika. Of America. Of Amerika. This gospel. Maar dit evangelie it started in Europe. Het startte in Europa. From Europe. Van Europa. It went to America. Ging het naar Amerika. From America. En van Amerika. It went to Africa. Ging het naar Afrika. Right now. En op dit moment. Europe, you became the mission field. Europa bent u het missieveld geworden. But a word of the Lord came unto me. Maar het woord des Heren kwam tot mij. I shall re-identify Europe. Nee, ik zal Europa opnieuw identificeren. I shall re-identify my people. Ik identificeer mijn mensen opnieuw. So listen to me. Dus luister naar mij. There are things. Er zijn dingen. You have not prayed for it. Wat je niet voor hebt gebeden. You were born with it. Je bent ermee geboren. And there are other things. En er zijn andere dingen. It is implanted. Het is in je geplant. geplant. Paul say, nee, Paulus zei. There is something in your belly. Er is iets in uw binnenste. You weren't born with a dimension. Je bent niet geboren met die dimensie. The dimension in your belly. Die dimensie in uw binnenste. You received it. Je hebt het ontvangen. By way of implantation. Door uh, implantatie. My friends. Mijn vrienden. There are some of you. Zijn sommige van u. You think you are an usher. Je denkt dat je een hoordewerker bent. Something will begin to come upon you. Maar er gaat iets op je komen. You think you are Sunday school teacher. Je denkt dat je gewoon een zondagschoolleraar bent. You think you are just the wife of. Of gewoon de vrouw van. A woman looking for a man to marry. Of een vrouw die met een man wil trouwen. A woman in choir. Een vrouw in het koor. You think you are just a protocol. Je denkt dat je gewoon een protocol bent. Let me tell you something. Laat me u iets vertellen. There is something we call implantation. Er is iets wat we noemen implantatie. Something that wasn't in your spirit before. Iets wat nog niet in uw geest was. I'm talking about realms and Dimensions. Ik heb het over ruimtes en dimensies. But under an atmosphere like this. Maar onder een atmosfeer als deze. Something came upon you. Kom er iets op u. By the time you go back. Bij de tijd dat u teruggaat. You are being re-identified. Wordt u opnieuw geïdentificeerd. Amos said. Nu Amos zei. I wasn't born a prophet. Ik werd niet geboren als profeet. Neither was I the son of a prophet. Ik was ook geen zoon van een profeet. But all of a sudden, maar plotseling, the word of the Lord came upon me. Kom het woord des Heren tot mij. Amos wasn't 
born as a prophet. Amos was not born as a prophet. He wasn't the son of a prophet. Only the son of one. He said, "I was standing the sheep." He said, "I was just busy with the hood of the sheep." While I was standing the sheep, and while I was on the hood, the word of the Lord came unto me. Come the word of the Lord to me. There are some of you. There are some of you who you just came to Osher. You come just to Osher. You just came to clap. You come just to clap. You just came to worship. You come just to worship. There is something. We call impartation. What we impartation. And there is something. And there is something. We call implantation. What we implantation. Let me tell you something prophetic. You let me use prophetic. The invisible hand of God is here. The unseeable hand of God is here. I speak and I prophesy. I speak and I prophesy. The invisible hand of God is here. The unseeable hand of God is here. To plant grace within your belly. Om genade in uw binnenste te planten. The invisible hand of God is here. The unseeable hand of God is here. To implant a ministry in your belly. Om een bediening in uw binnenste te planten. The invisible hand of God is here. The unseeable hand of God is here. To implant a ministry in your spirit. Om een bediening te planten in uw binnenste mens. Some of you came here. Some of you came here. With the ministry of an usher. With the bediening van een orderwerker. You will leave with the ministry of an intercessor. En u zal weggaan met de bediening van een voorwerker. Who am I talking to? Met wie ben ik aan het praten? I'm talking about implantation. Ik heb het over implantatie. Some of you came here. Some of you came here. With the ministry of a Sunday school teacher. Met de bediening van een zondagsleerling. You are leaving with the ministry of a prayer warrior. Maar u gaat weg met de bediening van een gebedsleider. Some of you came here. Some of you came here. With the ministry of a singer. Met de bediening van een zanger. A media man. Of a media man. I see the invisible hand of Jehovah. Maar ik zie de onzichtbare hand van Jehovah. Reaching for your inner man. En het reikt naar uw binnenste. For some of you. En voor sommige van u. He is implanting prophecy. Plant hij profetie in u. For some of you. En voor sommige van u. He is implanting the word of wisdom. Plant hij het woord van wijsheid. For some of you. For some of you. He is implanting the gift of faith. Plant hij de gave van geloof. For some of you. For some of you. He is implanting the gift of miracles. Plant hij de gift van miracles. For some of you. En voor sommige. He is planting international grace. Plant hij internationale genade. Tell your neighbor. Vertel uw buur. I see the hand of God coming upon you. I say, tell your neighbor. I see the hand of God coming upon you. The Lord has come to re-identify you. The Lord has come to re-identify you. You shall not leave the way you have come. You shall not leave the way you have come. You shall not leave the way you have come. He said, "I wasn't a prophet." He said, "I was not a prophet." Neither was I the son of a prophet. Only the son of a prophet. But all of a sudden, but plotseling, something came upon me. Come, it's up me. My friend, let me tell you. My friend, let me you tell you. You cannot rise beyond the level of your understanding. You cannot rise above the level of your grip. Now you are ordained a pastor. Nu ben je aangesteld als pastoor. That is not it. Dat is het nog niet. Now you are ordained a prophet. Nu ben je aangesteld als profeet. An apostle. An apostle. That is not it. Dat is het nog niet. Now you are a leader. Nu ben je een leider. That is not it. Dat is het nog niet. Let me tell you. Let me vertellen. The things of God. De dingen van God. Is about dimensions. Gaat om dimensies. The things of God. The things of God. It's about dimensions. It's about dimensions. You are a prophet. You are a prophet. What's next? What is it for? You are an apostle. You are an apostle. What's next? What is it for? You are a minister. You are a minister. What's next? What is it for? You are a leader. A leader. What's next? What is it for? You have a church. You have a church. What's next? What is it for? You have three churches. What's next? What is it for? You are traveling. You are traveling. What's next? What is it for? You cast demons. You cast demons. What's next? What is it for? Prophesy. What's next? What is it for? You are praying. What's next? What is it for? You are in the city. You are the forbidden. Listen to me. Listen to me. The things of God. The things of God. It is not shallow. It is not oppervlakkig. The things of God. The things of God. It is not shallow. They are not oppervlakkig. I wish you hear what I say. I wish that you heard what I say. Christianity is not a shallow religion. The Christianity is not oppervlakkig religion. Christianity is not for the shallow. It is only for the oppervlakkig. Christianity is not for the carnal. It is not for handy flesh. Today, today, I didn't come for shallow Christians. Not for oppervlakkig Christians. I didn't come for shallow beliefs. Not for oppervlakkig geloven. I didn't come for carnal beliefs. I came not for carnal beliefs. I came for those that are ready for dimensions. But for handy class and for dimensions. Who am I talking to? Let me pray. I came for those. I come for hell. You are ready for dimensions. You are ready for dimensions. I came for those. I come for hell. You are ready for fire. You are ready for fire. I came for those. You are ready for revival. I came for those. I came for hell. 
the things of God it is dimensions you're an apostle so what you're a prophet so what you travel so what there is something in you in you there is something in you there is it in you that must be unlocked but the real you is not what people see the real you is present inside of you let me show you the book of proverbs say or the book of psalms of psalm i am wonderfully Ik ben geweldig. And fearfully made. En uh, gemaakt, mooi gemaakt. It are two dimensions. Het zijn twee dimensies. Wonderful. Geweldig. And fearful. En met met vrees. Wonderful. Vrees. Geweldig. Is what people know. Is wat mensen kennen. You're an apostle. Je bent een apostel. You're a prophet. Een profeet. You're an usher. Een usher. You are handsome. Je bent you are the wife of. Je bent de vrouw van. You are beautiful. Je bent mooi. The fearful dimension. Dat is de wonderbare dimensie. Is what dimensie. is locked inside of you. Is wat in uw binnenste zit. The hand of God. Nu de hand van God. Is reaching for your fearful dimension. The things of God. It is about dimensions. And the only thing you need to tap into grace is to change dimension. Listen to what the Bible says. Listen to what the Bible says. In the book of Matthew, Jesus called Matthias. Let me tell you. The ministry of Matthias, the bedeling van Matthias, or the prophecy of Matthias, or the prophecy van Matthias, it was not spoken to Matthias. Was niet gesproken tot Matthias. It was spoken to his office. Was gesproken tot zijn ambt. Some prophecies, sommige profeties, are spoken to people. Worden gesproken tot mensen. Other prophecies, andere profeties, are spoken to offices. Worden gesproken tot ambten. I'm gonna show you. En ik laat u zien that the ministry of Matthias, dat de bediening van Matthias, was not about Matthias. En niet om hem ging. The ministry of Matthias, maar de bediening van Matthias, was about an office that was empty, that was looking for a man to occupy the office. Dat op zoek was naar iemand die die plek kon bezitten. Because the Bible says, want de Bijbel zegt, the office of Matthias. The arm of Matthias was first occupied by Judas. Werd eerst door Judas gezeten. When Judas died, toen Judas stierf, there was a scripture. Was er een geschrift from the book of Psalms? Van het boek van Psalmen. That came back into remembrance. Dat terugkwam tot de herinnering. He said, Judas died. Hij zei, Judas stierf. Let the dead bury the dead. Nu laat de doden de doden begraven. For the prophecy, van de profetie, was never about Judas. Ging nooit om Judas. That's why when Judas died, die toen het moment toen Judas stierf, the Bible says, zegt de Bijbel, let another man. Laat een andere Step into his office. Step in his office. My heart is crying. My heart hurts. Because the reason Europe. Want de reden dat Europa is dry, droog is, and dead, and dood is, in the dynamics of the spirit, in de dynamieken van de geest, there are offices, zijn er ambten, that are empty, die leeg zijn. Europe is dry. Europa is droog. And I'm going to tell you why. En ik vertel u waarom. The Lord is speaking. De Heer is spreekt. And look at some of your faces. En kijk naar sommige van uw gezichten. The heart of God is crying. Het hart van God huilt uit. Because Europe is dry. Want Europa is droog. Because there is a prophecy. Want er is een profetie. That goes beyond yourself. Dat verder gaat dan uzelf. I'm tired of those Christians. Ik ben moe van die christenen. My marriage. Mijn huwelijk. When is my husband coming? Wanneer komt mijn echtgenoot? When is my marriage coming? When is my money coming? When is my job coming? This Christian thing is not about yourself. This Christian thing is about offices. It's about realms. It's about dimensions. It had never been about Judas. Het ging nooit om Judas. And it had never been about Matthias. En het ging nooit om Matthias. That's why Jesus said in between. Daarom zei Jezus daar tussenin. To prepare them. Om ze voor te bereiden. Let the dead. Let the dead. Bury the dead. De doden begraven. Because certain prophecies. Want bepaalde profeties. Even though it falls upon a man. Ook al valt het op een man. It wasn't for the men. Het was niet voor die man. The prophecy. De profetie. Was for the office. Was voor het ambt. Everybody. Iedereen. Who lives in the secret place. Die leeft in een geheime plaats. And builds a capacity. En capaciteit opbouwt. To a certain level. Tot een bepaald niveau. That capacity. De capaciteit. Will begin to align. Begin in line te brengen. With an office that is empty in the realms of the spirit. Met een ambt dat leeg is in de ruimte van de geest. Today. 
Vandaag. Even if you're an usher. Ook al ben je een orderwerker. If you have an altar. Als je een altaar hebt. I wish you would hear what I say. Ik wens dat Europa hoorde wat ik zei. Even if you have no name. Ook al heb je geen naam. If you have a secret place. Als je een geheime plaats hebt. Give me strings. Even if you have no name. Zelfs heb je geen naam. Even if you have no title. Al heb je geen titel. You have no leadership. Geen leiderschap. This thing. Dit ding. It's not about title. Het gaat niet om titels. This thing. Dit ding. It's about your capacity in the spirit. Het gaat om je capaciteit in de geest. The Bible didn't mention a name. De Bijbel noemde geen naam. He said, listen. Hij zei, luister. Judas is dead. Judas is dood. You can cry for one day. Je kan één dag huilen. But for the sake of the magnitude of the calling. Maar door de grootheid van de roeping. Don't cry to Lord. Help me to Lord. My brother, my sister. My brother, my sister. Forget about the former days. Forget about the oude dagen. Forget about the divorce. Forget about the past. Forget about your failures. For the sake of the magnitude. And the weight. And the calling. Upon this generation. I don't know how you will do it. You have to get yourself together. My sister, dry your tears. My brother, encourage yourself. My brother, bemoedig yourself. There was no name. There was no name attached to the prophecy. Gehecht aan de profetie. The prophecy. The prophecy was attached to an office. Was gehecht aan een ambt. Listen to me. Nu luister naar mij. When Elijah went up, toen hij omhoog ging, the mantle of Elijah, the mantle van Elia, began to linger in the atmosphere. Begon te zweven in de atmosfeer. Whenever. Wanneer. Look for prophetic people. Kijk voor profetische mensen. We live in an hour. We leven in een uur. Of transition. Van overdracht. Morris Rulo died. Morris de Rulo is overleden. Rena Bonke died. Rena Bonke is overleden. Ora Roberts died. Ora Roberts is overleden. Ida Hosa died. Ida Hosa is overleden. Generals. Generals. Are leaving the face of the earth. Verlaten de aarde. And let me tell you. En laat me vertellen. When a man of God dies. Wanneer een man van God sterft. He doesn't die with the oil. Sterft hij niet met de olie. He doesn't die with the mantle. Hij sterft niet met de mantle. You know why? Weet u waarom? There is no next Kenneth Hagin. There is no following Kenneth Hagin. Because his mantle is still over this place. Because his mantle is still in the atmosphere. Why there is no new Ida Hosa? Why there is no new Ida Hosa? Because the mantle is still there. Why the mantle is still there? The office ain't occupied. The office is not filled. Who will occupy? Wie zal het doen? A strange office today. Een vreemde ambt. You may be an usher. Je kan een orderwerker zijn. You may be a protocol. Een protocol. You may have committed abortions. Ja, misschien abortie gepleegd. There is a call. Maar is een roep. Out of an office. Uit een ambt. Say you don't have to have a good name. Het zegt je hoeft geen goede naam te hebben. You need capacity. Maar capaciteit. You need a secret place. Maar een geheime plaats. You need an altar. Een altaar. For this office. Want dit ambt. Must be occupied. Moet bezet worden. This mantle. Deze mantle. Fall. This anointing must be released. Must be released. Listen to me. Listen to me. The heart of God is crying. The heart of God held. Certain men. Bepaalde mannen. They are not men. Zeg geen mannen. Certain men. Bepaalde mannen. They are spiritual entities. Geestelijke entiteiten. That happened. To live in a body. And so, to live in a body. Elijah. Elijah. He was not a man. He was not a man. That's why, even though he died in the book of Kings. Daar ook al Stephen in het boek van Koning. In the book of Malachi. In het boek van Malachi. The Lord say. Say the here. I will send you Elijah. Ik stuur u Elia. There is a spirit. Er is een geest. That is hovering over this place. That over this place on the dwarf. Looking to find embodiment. And it seeks for a place to be found. And women, listen to me. And women, listen. Because men became lazy. Because men were lazy. And too preoccupied with making money. And too busy with making money. There are women in this place. And there are women in this place. There is an anointing that God usually places upon men. There is a solving that God normally places upon men. There are men those God usually places upon men. Mantles that God normally places upon men. There are offices that usually are occupied by. Men. Today, because of such a short time, before the rapture and the soon coming back King, it doesn't matter your age, it doesn't matter your race, it doesn't matter your skin color. If you are ready, something will fall upon you.
He say, Hij zei, let another man, let an andere man take his office. Zijn ambt nemen. That man Die man wasn't born in the office. Niet geboren in het ambt. But it came a crucial time like this. Maar er kwam een cruciale tijd als deze. Where we call good what is evil. Dat we goed noemen wat kwaad is. And we call evil what is good. En kwaadaardig wat goed is. Where we normalize things that we supposed to confront. Waar we dingen normaal maken wat we moeten confronteren. Where we endorse things we ain't supposed to endorse. Waar we dingen door gaan geven wat we niet door gaan moeten geven. Where the church dress in a way we ain't supposed to dress. Dat de kerk de kleed doet ze niet moeten kleden. Where we speak in a way we ain't supposed to speak. Waar we spreken op een manier dat we niet kunnen. Where we go to places we ain't supposed to go. Where we behave a way we ain't supposed to behave. And because of the chaos, the Lord says, it doesn't matter where you are, where you have been, if you have an altar, if you have a secret place, if you have consecration, if you have a standard, today, I will lift you. I will lift you. I will lift you. I will lift you. And some of you. And some of you. The Lord is remantling you. The Lord is you new and Louder. If you read Ezekiel chapter 1, Als je Ezekiel hoofdstuk 1 leest, I begin to feel the presence of Jehovah here. Voor de aanwezigheid van Jehovah hier. Ezekiel chapter 1. Ezekiel hoofdstuk 1. You will find out. Je komt erachter. Ezekiel. Dat Ezekiel had a ministry before he had a ministry. Een bediening had voordat hij een bediening had. He wasn't just a prophet. Hij was niet gewoon een profeet. He was a priest. Hij was een priester. He say I was among the captives. Hij zei ik was te midden van de gevangenen. At the river Kiba. Bij de rivier Kiba. I Ezekiel the priest. I was bound. I was suffering. I was bleeding. I was struggling. I was a priest. I was among the captives. At the river keeper. All of a sudden, I saw heaven open. And I saw visions from God. There are some of you. You are in captivity. You are bound. Life ain't working. Today, your heaven shall open. I say your heaven shall open. I say your heaven shall open. Europe, dry your eyes. Holland, dry your eyes. I don't know. Ik weet het For niet. how many years you have been among the captives? One day, maar één dag, your heaven, hemel, when it locates you, het u it pays the bill forever. De rekening voor altijd. When Moses, to Moses impacted the 70, Impact had op de 70. Eldad was not among the 70. Was Eldad geen deel van de 70? He wasn't considered important. Hij werd niet anointed, gezien als belangrijk deep. of gezalfd of diep. He was not among the 70 Moses impacted. Hij was niet deel van de 70 die Moses had geïmpacteerd. To prophesy, om te declare, af te decree, en af te All of a sudden, en plotseling, there was a chaos. Was er een chaos. We live in a strange time. We leven in vreemde tijden. You know what it means when God say, I will pour out my Weet spirit? Weet je wat het betekent wanneer God zegt, ik zal mijn geest uitstorten? It means I will just do like this. Het betekent dat ik gewoon Who's dit ga doen. Whosoever is in line will be affected by the oil. Whosoever is in alignment with my will, with my word, whosoever is in line, the oil will affect you. As I am speaking right now, there is an oil being released over this sanctuary. I'm serious. There is an oil for the continent of Europe. I speak by the spirit of prophecy. There is an oil for the continent of Europe that the Lord has released just now. Something strange is about to happen here. I'm still teaching. But just the spirit of God say, I have released an anointing for the continent of Europe. 
het continent van Europa. Protocol find me seven people. Protocol vind mij zeven mensen. The Lord mensen. is placing his word in their mouth. De Heer plaatst zijn woord in hun mouth. For the continent of Europe. Voor het continent van Europa. In the next 30 seconds. In de komende 30 seconden. There are seven seconden. people. Zeven. The Lord is placing his word in your mouth. Bring them for me. Bring them. Bring them. Bring them. There are seven people, seven, seven, seven. Bring them for me quickly. Bring them snel. Everybody pray the Holy Ghost. La brese panda baha. Idere spreke tonga tao. Le pana bra ase panda baha. Ya pale ba atele ba. Bring me seven people. Ya tele ba asari ya ba. Ya ba amani. Bring me seven people. Ze bande bele be ata. Raso preke ne me isa ba. Ya ele be ya pa ni mi kapa. Rasora peli mi kapa. I will send the fire now. I will send the fire now. I will send the fire lips. I will cleanse your tongue. I will purify your mouth. Bring them for me. Bring them. Europe is coming alive. You shall not longer be called dry. You shall not longer be called dead. You shall not longer be called lawless. You shall not longer be called sinful. Listen to me. And the word of the Lord came unto me. The type of grace. The Lord has released in the building. A bold people. They will silence Jezebelic activity even in the church. Lift your hands and close your eyes. There is an unction being released. They will silence Jezebel. They will silence Jezebel. Jezebel, I silence you. 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 Bring them for me. There is an anointing. There is an anointing. There is a solving. To deal with Jezebel upon the continent of Europe. Om te handelen met Isabel op het continent van Europa. Lift your hands. Heb je handen op. There is something aggressive. Er is iets agressiefs. That shall begin to hover over this place. Dat over deze plek begint te dwalen. People will not understand them. Mensen zullen niet begrijpen. Because they will have the mantle of John the Baptist. Want ze zullen de mantel hebben van Johannes de Dopper. They will have a different message. Een andere boodschap. A different attitude. Een andere houding. A different approach. Een andere houding. It's the mantle of John. Een mantel van Johannes. It is going to come. Down. In the next 60 seconds, is a mantle of John. 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 Bring that for me. Is a mantle of John. Secrets. 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 Bring them for me. Bring them for me. It is the spirit of Elijah. It is the geest van Elisa. You will silence falsehood. You make falsehood still. You will silence divination. And all the sort of falsehood. You will silence lies. And lies. You will be bold like a lion. Moeder zal u zijn als een leeuw. Elisa. There are five people here. Five men are here. It's the spirit of Elijah. Geest van Elia. The mantle of John. Mantle van Johannes. It shall pick them out. Het had ze eruit. They will silence. Ze zullen stil worden. Every false voice. Elke false stem. That is speaking in the body. Die spreekt in het lichaam. Holy Ghost. Heilige Geest. Where are they? Waar zijn ze? One. Eén. Two. Twee. Three. Drie. Four. Vier. Five. Five. Seconds. Seconds. Ah! 
Bring them, bring them, bring them. Bring the song the word of the Lord came unto me he is raising singing prophets in his atmosphere singing prophets singing prophets music ministries in Europe shall influence the world you're gonna lift up this song Singing prophets, singing prophets, singing prophets. Let's go.
truly have strings. With all humility, can you close your eyes for me? Iedereen sluit uw ogen met mij. With all humility. Met alle nederigheid. The Lord shall begin to awaken the deep inside of people. De Heere gaat de diepe in mensen aanwakkeren. This is not you. Dit bent u niet. There is a dimension we call the deep. Er is een dimensie wat we noemen het diepe. That the Lord shall begin to awaken in people. En de Heere gaat het beginnen op te wekken in mensen. Some of you will have so much compassion for souls from today. Some of you zullen zoveel compassie hebben voor zielen van vandaag. So much passion for prayer. Zoveel passie voor gebed. Hunger for spiritual things. Hunger voor geestelijke dingen. For the Lord. Want de Heer. Shall begin to pour on the deep inside of people. Zal beginnen te trekken aan het diepe in u. Spirit of God. Nu geest van God. I will ask you kindly. Ik vraag u met nederigheid. I have only said the words you have placed in my mouth. Ik heb alleen maar de woorden gezegd wat u in mijn mond heeft This is for the land of Europe. Dit is voor het land van Europa. I'm asking you, beautiful spirit of God. Ik vraag u, mooie geest van God. That you will begin to awaken the deep in people. Dat u het diepe in de mens begint aan te vatten. Some of you in your belly. Sommige van u in uw buik. The Lord is igniting a raw fire. De Heer doet een raw vuur. A raw fire. Een raw vuur. A raw fire. A raw fire. Protocol, bring me everybody. Protocol, bring everybody. Who the hand of God is going to come upon? The Lord is going to bring me everybody. Bring me everybody. Bring me everybody. The Lord is awakening the deep, the deep, the deep, the deep. Hunger for prayer. Hunger for the spirits. Hunger for the deep things of God. Compassion for souls. There is a short time left. Korte tijd over. There is a short time left. We hebben nog maar weinig tijd. And for the sake of time. En voor tijd. The Lord is quickening His people. Is de Heer is zijn mensen aan het There is a short time left. Er is nog maar weinig tijd over. And for the sake of time. En voor de tijd. He is quickening His people. Verkwikt hij zijn mensen. No music, please. No music. There is a short time er is weinig tijd for the church for the kerk to fulfill the great commission om de grote om dat te vervullen for the sake of the calendar of God vanwege de kalender van God strangely vreemd genoeg your time is changing now uw tijd verandert nu there are ten people. Er zijn tien mensen. I speak by the Spirit. Spreek door de geest. The Lord is releasing the spirit of speed and acceleration upon them. De Heer laat de snelheid voor snelheid vrij over hun leven. For you to know it is you. Voor u om te weten dat u. Something shall come upon you right now. Iets komt nu op u. Bring all of them. Bring ze allemaal. Bring all of them. Bring ze allemaal. Bring all of them. Bring ze allemaal. He is compressing your time. Hij is je tijd verdrukt aan het maken. He is compressing your time. Hij verdrukt de tijd. He is compressing your time. Verdrukt tijd. He is compressing your time. Hij zet uw tijd samen. I awaken. Ik wek op. The undercover prophets. The prophets who undercover zijn. I awaken. I wake up. The undercover prophetess. The prophetess who undercover is. You thought you were just somebody that will marry a man. You thought you were just a fashionable woman. You thought you were just You thought you were just a fashionable woman. 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 You thought you were just Bring them, out Bring them out for me. 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 Touch. 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 Bring them out. Bring them out. I have seven more minutes. I have seven more minutes. Bring them out for me. There are some of you. 
You are running away from the level of your consecration. I don't say you don't pray. But you are called into dimensions. You try to be normal. For you to know. For you to know. God is speaking to you. The finger of God. The finger of God shall take you out of your chair right now. Neemt u nu uit de stoel. Right now. Nu. Right now. Nu. Right now. Nu. Right now. Nu. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Consecration. 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 Jesus. If there is one word, Als er één woord is, I want you to take back to your house. Wat ik wil terugbrengen in het huis. Consecration. Heiliging. Apart setting. Apart setting. Uh, Papa Roma, forgive me. I'm not comfortable ministering before grace of your level. I just do small things. When fathers are here, I'm when not fathers here say, but I'm not here. And I, I'm not trying to show off. I, I, it's not in my nature. Ushers, quickly. Let me do two things then. Nog twee dingen. We, 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 we want Papa to come. Want we willen dat Papa komt. All these people, bring them on their feet quickly, quickly, Alles quickly. Ze op hun voeten, Give me some strings snel. quickly, quickly. If you're not an usher, help them, help them, help them, help them, help them quickly, 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 quickly. Everybody here, lift your hands. Everybody there, lift your hands. Have you hand on them? Grace. For ministry is coming down there. Grace for ministry. 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 Bring them for me. Bring them for me. Bring them for me. Grace for ministry. Bring them on their feet. Let them stand. Let them stand. I will that they all of them are going to stand. I say grace for ministry. Have so on their feet and stand. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Hey! Grace for ministry. Grace for ministry. Grace that makes great. Grace that lifts. Grace that restores. It is here. Now all of you, lift your hands here in the front. Nu iedereen hier voor, help uw handen. Help them, help them quickly, quickly. Ik wil dat ze allemaal gaan staan en help Even if you're not the usher, help them. Ook al ben je geen orderwerker, help ze. Palos, ha plaata la pane me kata la baka panda. Benito per ento conta na ma katene me atala basala mande. Hey kapende pene me atala basada bahata. Ah, ah, ah. Any altar, fighting your destinies, catch fire. Altars in Ghana, altars in Nigeria, altars in Congo, altars in Suriname, Nigeria, Curaçao, catch fire. Listen, everybody here in front, there is a serious fire. 
It is a serious fear. That shall begin to fall upon you. But shall begin to fall upon you. Lift your hands. A few hundred. Father. Father. Quicken their callings. For quick, sir. Quicken their calling. For quick and rupee. 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 It is happening. He is touching your deep. 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 Aisha. Can you bring up my mic a little bit? Can you bring up my mic a little bit? There's a company of prophetic women. Er is a group van profetische mensen. That will rise with an end time message. De eindheid. A message of repentance. Een boodschap van bekering. A message of holiness. Boodschap van heiligheid. A prophetic woman. Profetische vrouw. You've been in the cave for a long time. I'm calling you out now. Ik roep u nu eruit. Prophetic woman. Profetische vrouw. You've been hiding. You've been in the cave. In the cave. Your time has come. Your time is And your time is now. The light of God is about to shine upon you. Wherever you are, I call you out of your cave. 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 There's people in this place. Men of deze plaats. Jezebel has intimidated you. Jezebel heeft u geïntimideerd. Caused you to 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 be stuck in the place. En voor gezorgd dat je op een plek. Where you don't manifest what God has placed on your life. Dat je niet manifesteert wat de Heer op je heeft geplaatst. Right now as I'm speaking. En terwijl ik spreek. The spirit of God is moving in the crowd. De geest van God beweegt. And He is touching your life. En Hij raakt uw leven aan. There is boldness coming upon. Every form of intimidation. Every form of intimidation. I break it right now. Break it now. I break it right now. Break it now. And I call for it. And I call for it. The prophets. The prophets. The prophetess. Prophetess. Come forth. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I see a hand, and I I see a hand. I see a hand, and I see it appearing in the midst of us. And I see it shining in our midst. And I hear the spirit of the Lord saying. And I hear the Jesus here say that in this time and in this season. That in this time and this season. His hand will move very mightily. So his hand mightily move. And will cause people to rise. And it will cause people to rise. In this land. In this land. There's been a great great intimidation. Is there a great intimidation? For people to rise. For men to up to stand and to speak on God's behalf and to speak on God's behalf, but the hand of God, but the hand of God, is rising against every demonic power, every principality in this land, keeping prophets down, shutting the mouths of prophets. The hand of the Lord is rising up against it, and the prophets and the prophets will come forth of the cave. Zal er voortkomen. Zo zegt de Spirit of God. Zo zegt de Jezus hier. I want to pray a final prayer. Nog een laatste gebed bidden.
finally, just soft strings only, finally. With all humility, can you please lift your hands? With all humility. Thank you, Lord. With all humility. I want to open my spirit. There's nothing special about me. There is nothing special about me. But God placed His hand upon my life. But God placed His hand upon my life. And I want to ask God for impartation. And I want God to ask for impartation. For the next generation. For the next generation. Who is called. Geroepen is. To take this gospel to the four corners of the world. Om het evangelie te nemen naar de vier hoeken van de wereld. Close your eyes and lift your hands. Sluit uw ogen en hef uw handen. Lord, I pray for my heart. Vader, ik bid vanuit mijn hart. You appeared to me when I was 21. U verscheen tot mij toen ik 21 was. In a white garment. In een wit gewaad. You told me to do what I am doing. En u vertelde me te doen wat ik doe. And Lord, and here, remember, herinner, I said to you, ik zei tot u, I won't go ga niet weg, unless you give me the unique ability to demonstrate your power. Zodat u mij de unieke mogelijkheid geeft om uw kracht te demonstreren. Lord, I stand upon the covenant I established with you. Ik sta op het ambt wat ik voor u heb bewaard. And I ask you right now, en ik vraag u, look at my brothers, my sisters, kijk naar mijn broeders en mijn zusters, who are cold and hungry for you. Die geroepen zijn en hongerig zijn voor I u. I lift my right hand. And all over this place, I release the power gift. I release the grace that brings people before nations. I release the grace for miracles, for signs, for wonders. I release the grace for influence. Touch their mouth right now. Whatever they decree, let it come to pass. Give them a dangerous tongue. Give them a dangerous tongue. Give them fire in their mouth. Anoint their focal cord. Whatever they say, may heaven respond to their voice. Whatever they say, may there be terror in the kingdom of darkness. I pray God the grace for miracles, for signs for wonders let there be a release right now let there be a release right now let there be a release right now in the name of Jesus I release grace I release grace I release grace I release grace in the name of Jesus Everybody worship. Everybody worship. Everybody worship. Everybody worship. Everybody worship. Give you all of the Come on, come on, come on, come on. May you be magnified, you Jesus. We lift up your name. We glorify your name. We give you all of the praise. You are worthy, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Worship. Thank you, Jesus. We glorify your name. We give you all the praise.
somebody shout for joy. Kan iemand schreeuwen om vreugde? No, I said shout for joy. Is er juich om vreugde? It sounds like there are only 50 people Het here. Als I said somebody shout for joy. Is er iemand schreeuw voor vreugde? I want somebody to wave. Ik wil dat iemand. Amen. Amen. I want you to stay in this atmosphere. Ik wil dat u blijft in deze atmosfeer. Come on, look at your neighbor. Kijk naar uw buren. Say neighbor, we haven't even started yet. Zeg buur, we zijn nog niet eens begonnen. Come on, look at your other neighbor. Kijk naar uw andere buur. Say neighbor, we have not even started yet. Zeg, we zijn yet. nog niet eens begonnen. I want you to stay in the same atmosphere. Ik wil dat u blijft in dezelfde atmosfeer. Because we're about to call. Want we staan op het punt te roepen. A very anointed minister to the stage. Een hele gezalde dienaar naar het podium. I know that everybody here you have heard his songs. Ik weet dat iedereen hier heeft zijn liederen gehoord. You have been praying on his songs. Ik heb gebeden op zijn liederen. Many of you here. Many of you here. Vele van u hier. I know you have been waiting for this moment. Ik weet dat u gewacht heeft op dit moment. And Europe, I want you to stand on your feet. En Europa, ik wil dat u gaat staan. Come on, Europe, I want you to stand on your Kom feet. Europa, ik wil dat u gaat staan. And I want you to welcome to en Europe. Ik wil dat u wel... I want you to welcome to the Netherlands with a loud voice. Minister, minister. there you feel a Sunday. Come on, shout. Make a sound! Make a sound! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Um, first of all, I want to say I'm so happy to be here. Ten eerste wil ik zeggen dat ik zo dankbaar ben om hier te zijn. We give God praise for the privilege to. We geven God lofprijs voor het voorrecht. The privilege to partake in this fellowship. Dat ik verwelkomd ben in deze gemeenschap, deze samenwerking. Say a big thank you to our host. En ik wil een grote dank u wel zeggen tegen onze host. Thank you for thank you for all the sacrifices that you have made for. To be here. Thank you and I want to say thank you to Father Apostle Aramel Sai for the privilege. Second Chronicles chapter 16, verse 9. Please be seated. Laat u alstublieft zitten. I read, it says, for the eyes of the Lord runs to and fro through the whole earth to show himself strong in the behalf of those whose heart is perfect towards him. Hearing thou hast done foolishly, therefore, from henceforth, thou shalt have war. De Heer begon tot mij te spreken. As soon as I got in here and I began to pray. En zodra ik hier kwam begon ik te bidden. One of the things the Lord said to me and I'm going to say is. En een van de dingen die hij tegen me zei. There are many of us here who do not have a walking altar, a walking secret place with the Lord. Er zijn vele van ons die geen werkende geheime plaats of een altaar hebben met de Heer. There are many of us here who have become too familiar. With the Lord. Vele van ons die te gewend zijn geraakt met de Heer. The Lord is actually saying that. En de Heer zegt eigenlijk. One of the things that He will do in this conference. Een van de dingen die Hij zal doen in deze conferentie. That He will set the heart of many right again. Dat Hij de harten van mensen weer juist zal maken. The time. De tijden waarin we zijn is geen tijd om gewend te raken aan God. Such a critical moment. Het is zo'n kritisch moment. En de Lord is ook zeggen dat er zijn velen die willen ministeren voor mij, 
But they yet do not know how to minister to me. Er zijn velen die willen bedienen voor mij, maar ze weten niet hoe te bedienen tot mij. He says ministry is not just ministering for me, it's a ministering to me first. Zijn bediening is niet alleen bediening door anderen, maar het is bediening tot mij. Hmm. Jesus is saying that he needs men who are not mindful, who are not, uh, how do I put it? Men Jesus. who, their goal is not to be out there. Hij zegt, hij hoort mensen wiens doel niet is But om daar buiten te zijn. In the secret place. Maar om te zijn in die geheime plaats. To be in the secret place. Om te zijn in die geheime plaats. Dus waar u gezeten bent. Wat u oprecht de Heer vraagt. Ik zoek u en niets anders. Let that prayer come from you. I seek Laat het gebed van u komen. Ik zoek u. En niets anders. I seek you. Ik zoek u en niets anders. I seek you. Ik zoek u and nothing else. en niets anders. Let that be a prayer from your heart. Let that be a prayer from your heart. Only you, only you. Only you. Let that be the cry of somebody in this place. Let it come from your heart. <laughs> And peradventure, you are that one that the Lord is actually saying you don't have a walking secret place with Him. It's an atmosphere to begin to walk on it. Is een atmosfeer om erin te beginnen te wandelen. Jesus is here to help you make Jesus that relationship with Him. Is hier om u te helpen. Can you pray that prayer earnestly? Kunt u dat gebed bidden? I enter the holy of holies. I enter to see only you. I enter to worship you only. I enter to hear only you. I enter the holy of holies. I enter to see only you. I enter the holy of holies. I enter to hear only you. I enter, Lord, I enter. I enter. I enter, Lord, I enter, I enter, Lord, I enter, I enter, Lord, I enter, show me your holy face. I enter, Lord, I enter, I enter, Lord, I enter, I enter, Lord, I enter, please show me your holy face. I enter, Lord, I enter, I enter, Lord, I enter, I enter, 
Lord, I enter. Please show me your holy face. Is that your desire this evening? I enter. Lord, I enter. I enter. Lord, I enter. I enter. Lord, I enter. Please show me your holy face. Oh, I enter. Lord, I enter. I enter. Lord, I enter. Lord, I enter. Please show me your holy face. Yele moko no anya, enyo moko tele, enyo moko teni anye, anye moko tena. Emyo no di ame kiti ye no amye no. Tanya mani kiki je onye no tiki le amye ne tiku kwa amyo lo lo shayi mama di kiki biudu bidi ana me anye oh amyo no kubi de di ne. Let the holiness of your presence overwhelm us. Na hubele sufeka babamu lifelemi ataba ruda gaskaba nine ifeto mongo saka pra banani eskobelani anaruso narusko vele mianto beniso mekulata miske tebe mende ebriata suse kamimba abe bokori zezua parada gasketombe aske monde liya damiatas. Mm. Ooh. I enter, Lord, I enter, I enter, Lord, I enter, I enter, Lord. I I am no milalo se ne ya kutumi kutumi na ile moyo Simelo miniki kayana ene bodi ki koyo menile Ati molodo Ati molodo uyege 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 Sai da da, 
Saida na bakaina Reselu vele kemoa Ante bone Eika banakarinias Ebi atanda lagaski Abe ni berenias Ebe raga gasai kambale Anybody? 
Jesus, I It begins to bring every dead thing to life. It's a life-giving river. Right here, right now. As the river flows, it begins to bring the dead back to life. It's a life-giving river. Oh, let it flow right here, right now. Lord. It begins to bring every dead thing to life. It's the life if it breathes. Oh, let it flow right here, right now. Mm. As the river flows, it begins to bring every dead thing to life. Life in the river. Oh, let it flow right here. Rivers flow. It begins to bring that thing back to life. The life giving river. Hey, yeah, let me feel it. Oh, you go back like a manita. As the rivers flow, it begins to bring everything thing to life. The life giving river. Right here, right now, as the river flows, the... it begins to bring every dead thing. The light in the river. Oh, the river flows. Give it. 
Emmanuel, oh my God. I see Jesus seated on the throne. I see the angels ascending everywhere. I see the spirit fixing things again. Hallelujah to the Lamb upon the throne. Yes, I see Jesus seated on the throne. I see his angels ascending everywhere. I see the Spirit fixing lights again. I call, I still see him. Hey. I see Jesus seated on the throne. I see his angels ascending everywhere. I see the speak pitching things again. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh my God. Oh, yeah. 
for your name is holy you are holy you are Lord for your name is holy you are holy you are Lord In one minute, can you intensify your, your hunger for him? In one minute. Mm. The prayer is still the same. I want you and nothing else. I want you and not, nothing else. I want you and nothing else. Can you intensify? I want you and nothing else, nothing else. Can you intensify? I want you and nothing else, nothing else. Just you. Just you, just you, just you. Just intensify your desire. Can we intensify in a moment of time? If you can bring the Holy Ghost, it's a good time. I'm a Luke, no me Kalina. Eti ko bedo me nitali. And me no go saka na ikanda. Hey, you can no me. Fia Tanaga Elitu Sikenia I'm a Melie Es con Melie Siko Milai Tamonda Ivanaka Diko E 
Ike diga laika gabana kaine Iseli mbali Sabemoria kamele Sibo melemu Is rising, is rising, is rising, is rising. The river is rising, is rising, is rising. Is flowing, is flowing, is flowing, is flowing. The river is flowing. Is flowing, is flowing. Is rising, is rising, is rising, is rising. The river is rising, is rising, is rising. From my ankle to my knee, from my knee to my waist, from my waist to my shoulder. Till the spirit overwhelms me From my ankle to my knee From my knee to my waist From my waist to my shoulder Till the spirit overwhelms me From my ankle to my knee From my knee to my waist From my waist to my shoulder Till the spirit overwhelms me From my ankle to my knee From my knee to my waist from my waist to my shoulder till the spirit overwhelms me I, from my ankle to my knee from my knee to my waist from my waist to my shoulder till the spirit overwhelms me I, another measure another measure another measure I, another measure Another measure, 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 another measure. From my ankle to my knee, from my knee to my waist, from my waist to my shoulder, till the spirit overwhelms me. From my ankle to my knee, from my knee to my waist, from my waist to my shoulder, till the spirit overwhelms me. From my ankle to my knee, from my knee to my waist, from my waist to my shoulder, till the spirit overwhelms me. From my ankle to my knee. Can you desire another measure? A deeper measure. A deeper measure, even in dunamis. A deeper measure. A deeper measure. See an animal, the cannibal seal and I. Hey, you don't call me an agaskia. Say more not to make a ski and the lami. From my uncle to my knee, from my knee to my waist. From my ankle to my knee From my ankle to my knee From my ankle to my knee 
See the spirit of the world Another measure Another measure Oh, deeper measure Oh, deeper measure Another measure Another measure Another measure Another measure Another measure Another measure El cielo emana no, el diablo no llega, se uno me llega no nadie, pero no fitiria, el bremo no se de que mo, el frente que va a tala, y el en, y el en a el en, el si va la mano amor y a la gama. Prayer still remain the same. Lord, in the course of this conference, give me nothing but you. Nothing else. Nothing. 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 Can you lift up your voice and pray in the Holy Ghost? Say, Lord, nothing else but you. Nothing else but you. Satisfy this desire. Satisfy this desire with nothing else. With nothing else but you. Satisfy this hunger with nothing else. Nothing else but you. Nothing else. Cry that cry to him. Nothing else, Lord, but you. Nothing else. Nothing else satisfy this desire with nothing else but you. Let me have you for real. Let me have you for real, for real. No more faking it. No more imagining it. Let me have you for real. Let this do not mean mark a turn around in my life. Let my evidence for dunamis be you, you. My evidence. My evidence for dunamis. Let it be you. Let me have you for real. No more faking it. No more imagining it. Let me have you for real. Let me have, oh my God. I wish somebody can cry that cry to the Lord. Genuinely, no more faking. I don't want to imagine you anymore. No, you are real than my imagination. I want to have you for real. For real. For real. For real. For real. For real, hey, for real, Jesus, for real, 
for real let him hear you in a moment let my evidence let the only evidence I have to show after two rubbish be that I have you for real let whatever will happen to me in the course of dunamis not be for two months let me have you for real for real for real cry that cry I want nothing Lord as an evidence but you give me the evidence of yourself the evidence of you the evidence of you the evidence of you the evidence of you oh maybe you have seen him before but there is another measure yes there is another measure the evidence of you satisfied his desire with nothing else but you I love you forever Lord I love you forever Jesus I love you forever Lord I love you forever I love you forever I love you forever I love you forever Lord One more thing I would like us to do together Zo machtelijk groeide het woord van God en het overwon. Niet onze bedieningen, niet onze namen, maar het woord van God. Niet onze denominaties, niet onze leiders, maar het woord van God. Zo machtig groeide het woord van God en het overwon. Kunnen we onze stemmen opheffen? We verklaren Heer, laat uw koninkrijk met dwang uitgaan. Kan je lift up your voice and pray that prayer quickly? Kunt u stem verheffen en dit bidden? Over Amsterdam. Over Amsterdam. Over Nederland. Over Nederland. The gospel of Jesus. Grows mightily and prevails. The gospel of Jesus grows mightily and prevails. The word of God prevails over anomalies. The word of God prevails over every abnormality. So mightily grow, so mightily grew the word of God and prevail. Not our denominations, not our names. But so mightily grew the word of God and prevailed. Netherlands, can I hear you pray? Can I hear you intercede over your territory? So mightily grew the word of God and prevailed. We pull down every hindrance to the advancement of the word of God. Every hindrance, every hindrance, we pull down. Can 
Lord, I hear you intensify your prayers. Intensify your prayers. Et bena katimo la katai. Et matwa ganaga itana. Ai para se sua. Et bemi katumina. Et prestese. The word of God advances in this territory by force. From the days of John the Baptist, even up until now, the kingdom of God suffered at violence. And only the violent ones can take it by force. Can I hear you intensify your prayers? Whatever it is that I've been standing against the advancement of God's word in the heart of the youth, we come against it now. We advance in the name of the Lord. The word of God advances in the name of the Lord. Can you contribute your quarter wherever you are? I De rivier van God is bepaald in een bepaalde richting te stromen. Er is een beweging hier van God op aarde. En hoe velen besloten hebben in lijn te komen. Deze rivier zal beginnen dat de katapulten. Dat we instrumenten kunnen zijn in de handen van God. Als u bidt, als u aanbidt. Vraag hem om barmhartigheid op u te hebben. En als u hem vindt. Maak hem koning. In Jezus naam. U mag u plaatsnemen.
Als u hier bent gekomen met uw Bijbel, wil ik dat we keren naar het boek van Psalmen. in het woord van God. En daarna zullen we weer bidden. Ik wil mijn host bedanken voor deze mogelijkheid. Deze missie is onze eerste missie naar Nederland. Ik zie dat het verlangen, verlangen voor het woord van God sterk is in Nederland. Dank u voor het voorrecht om hier te komen. Uw geest is open en uw hart is oprecht. Ik kan zien de grote beweging die God doet door uw, door uw bediening heen. Heer, zal uw grootheid alleen maar versterken. In Jezus naam. Als u stoel heeft gevonden, keert u dan uw Bijbel. Psalm 107, vers 20. We zullen een moment toelaten dat God zijn hart, hand uitstrekt. Vers 20 zegt, hij stuurt zijn woord en hij genas hen en heeft ze bevrijd van hun vernietigingen. Hij stuurt zijn woord uit en genas hen en bevrijde hen van hun vernietigingen. Now listen to me. Nu luistert u naar mij. Just like we said yesterday, Net zoals we gisteren zeiden. The word of God the of God. Het woord van God draagt de autoriteit van God. The word of God the of God. Het woord van God draagt de beschikbaarstelling van God. Of the of God en vanwege de integriteit van God. The words he speaks are critical. De woorden die hij spreekt zijn kritisch. If God Can as much as speak. Als God in hoeverre hij spreekt, he has committed himself. heeft hij zichzelf toegewijd. His integrity is at stake. Zijn integriteit staat op het spel. He has committed himself. Hij heeft zichzelf toegewijd. His authority is at stake. Zijn autoriteit staat op het spel. And one of the reasons why, en een van de redenen waarom, in the Garden of Eden, in het Hof van Eden, in, the book of Genesis, in het boek van Genesis, even when Adam failed, waarom Adam faalde, Satan knew, Satan wist that God could speak again. dat God nogmaals kon spreken. And if God speaks again, en als God nog een keer spreekt, there is, new potential. is er nieuwe potentie. There's a new possibility. Er zijn nieuwe mogelijkheden. The, the, the chances of renovation exist De kansen if God speaks again. van renovatie bestaan wanneer God weer spreekt. So anytime God wants to do anything, dus iedere keer dat God iets wil doen, what he does is that he sends his word. wat hij doet, hij stuurt zijn woord. Now, so if you follow in the reading that dus I presented to als u volgt in de versie die we net hebben gelezen, you will find that the Bible says, vindt u dat de Bijbel zegt, his word accomplished healing. Zijn woord bracht genezing voor. So just in case God wants to heal, dus stel voor dat God wil zegenen. He does not need to physically come into this place and start healing people. Dan hoeft hij niet fysiek hier te komen en mensen te beginnen te genezen. What he does is that he sends his word. Wat hij doet, hij stuurt zijn woord. So if his word shall come to you, dus als zijn woord naar u moet komen, it means that God's intention to heal has also come to you. Dat zijn intentie om te genezen ook hier is. If God wants to deliver, als God wilt bevrijden, he doesn't need to come down himself. Dan hoeft hij niet zelf naar beneden te komen. He sends his word. Hij stuurt zijn woord. So his words can affect. Healing. Dus zijn woorden kan genezing beïnvloeden. His words can affect deliverance. Zijn woorden kunnen bevrijding beïnvloeden. But the emphasis I have tonight. Maar de nadruk die ik vanavond heb. Is in the fact that. Is in het feit dat. The word of God delivered them from 
their destructions. And you will notice that the word destructions is in the plural. So there are destructions that have been set in motion to undermine the destinies of men. There are destructions that have been set in motion. To, a, a destruction is like a time bomb. As long as a destruction is in view, Satan knows that you might smile today, but you will not smile tomorrow. So we need to identify these destructions. Because part of the thing that the word of God is dispatched to accomplish is to undo destructions. If you are still with me, say amen. So just like I pleaded with you yesterday, I also want you to give me some time, give me attention, so that we can study the Bible. He sent his word, and it healed them, and it delivered them from all their destructions. Now, the thing about destructions is that it, it can be operational, Het kan handelen, but it doesn't show on the face. Maar het toont niet op het gezicht. It can be in force. Het kan bekrachtigd zijn. But there is no physical indication that such a destruction is in place. Maar er is geen fysieke indicatie dat zo'n vernietiging daar is. Are you with me? Bent u met mij? Now, we attended the wedding. We waren op een bruiloft. It was a very expensive wedding. Het was een hele dure bruiloft. It was a society wedding. Het was een bruiloft van, van een gemeente. All the people that are prominent in society were present for that wedding. People came to show the new cars they had bought. People came to display the new dresses they had acquired. Some, some women came to display the new jewelry they had, they had got. So, so many products were on display for this wedding. Many other things apart from the wedding were taking place in the place. And it came to pass that this man married a very beautiful lady. The wedding was on the newspapers. The wedding was in the news. The people were even estimating how much was spent to achieve that event. The lady was the one that was from a very wealthy family. One week and two days after the wedding, the young man died. Now, there was nothing that suggested that death was hanging on that young man. The death of the young man made nonsense of all the pictures that were taken that day. The death of the young man made nonsense of all the jewelry that they wore on display that day. Of all the activities that took place, there was no one that could design that there was a time bomb on the young man that was coming into matrimony. Now, the thing about a destruction, just as like, like I told you, there is, it is not apparent. It is not visible. There is nothing that suggests that it is available. So the word of God does not only heal physical sickness. The word of God also detonates destructions that are not evident. And, and, and what we are trusting God for today is that destructions that are not evident, but they are, are traveling their emotion, that he will send his word in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I have a list of four destructions that we are trusting God uh, to enable us. 
deliverance that is captured in his word. If you are still with me, say amen. All right. Are you there? So let us do some Bible study. Turn with me to the book of Genesis. Genesis chapter 4. Genesis chapter 4. Genesis chapter 4. And Cain talked with Abel his brother. And it came to pass. Do you, do you want to interpret that? All right. So, And Cain talked with Abel his brother. And it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel his brother and slew him. And the Lord said unto Cain, Where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? And he said, What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood cried unto me from the ground. And now art thou cursed from the earth, which opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood out of thy hand. When thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. A fugitive and a vagabond shall thou be in the earth. Hallelujah. God was trying to teach the principle of honor in the first context of civilization in the Garden of Eden. In the eerste context van de samenleving in het Hof van Eden. And the principle of honor requires. En het principe van eer vereist. That we remember to give God His portion. Dat we herinneren om God zijn deel te geven. We remember to give God His due. Dat we God herinneren om zijn deel te geven. So when harvest came. Dus toen de oogst kwam. In keeping with the principle of honor. Kwam het met de principe van eer. Cain brought something to God. Cain bracht iets naar de Heer. Abel brought something to en God. En Abel bracht iets naar de Heer. And if you see the two products that were brought to God. En als je de twee producten ziet die waren gebracht Cain naar God. Cain brought to God the leftovers. Cain bracht het overblijfsel. Abel brought to God the fat links. En Abel bracht de, het vette gedeelte. And the Bible revealed. En de Bijbel openbaart. That God had respect. Dat God respect had. Onto Abel and his offering. Voor Abel en zijn offer. And for Cain, God had no respect. En voor Cain had God geen respect. So envy began to build in the heart of Cain. Dus neid begon op te bouwen in het hart van Cain. And the envy that was building began to grow until a desire to murder his brother. En de jaloezie op de neid wat kwam in zijn hart kwam tot het verlangen dat hij zijn broer wilde doden. So when they were in the field, dus toen ze in het veld waren, Cain murdered Abel. Vermoorde Cain Abel. Now you see the moment that happened. Het moment dat dat gebeurde. You must have, if you study, if you looked at the scripture while we read it, you must have discovered that the scripture is depicting what we call a court session. Als je kijkt naar de vers wat we hebben gelezen, dan wat het weerspiegelt is een rechtszaak. The moment. Het moment. Cain killed his brother Abel. Stay with me. Stay with me. Dat kan zijn broeder Abel doden. Blijft u met mij? A court session in heaven sat. Vroeg er een rechts een rechtspraak plaats in de hemel. I will tell you what occasioned the court session. En ik zal u vertellen wat voor die rechtszaak veroorzaakte. The first thing that happened after the court session sat. Het eerste wat er gebeurde nadat de rechtszaak was was cross examination. Het was een kruisverhoor. If you have ever been to court before, als je ooit naar de rechtszaak bent geweest, part of the things you will be subjected to, deel van de dingen waarin u onderworpen wordt, in order wordt, to verify whether there is substance in your case, om te verifiëren het bewijs van uw zaak, is cross-examination. Is een kruisverhoor. So the first procedure that Cain was subjected to was cross-examination. Dus de eerste procedure waar Cain in ging was een kruisverhoor. Cross-examination, a an intelligent lawyer. Will ask you some questions. En een kruisvoer zal intelligente advocaat u een aantal vragen stellen. And the way you answer the questions will will 
either arm you or disarm you. En hoe je de vraag beantwoordt, zou je of bewapenen of je wapen niet wegnemen. So the question nemen. that was forwarded to Cain was, where is Abel your brother? En de vraag die Cain gesteld was, waar is Abel uw broer? And according to the earthly principles of justice, en aangaan de aardse principes van gerechtigheid, there are only two kinds of witnesses that can influence a case in court. Zijn alleen twee soorten getuigen die een zaak kunnen beïnvloeden in een rechtszaak. The, the first valid kind of witness is the eyewitness. En de eerste valide bewijs is een ooggetuige. An eyewitness is someone that was present in the scene of a certain activity. Een ooggetuige is degene die aanwezig was bij de scène van een bepaalde activiteit. If he can confirm that he is an eyewitness, als hij kan bevestigen dat hij een ooggetuige is, then his testimony can affect the pendulum of justice. Dan kan zijn getuigenis het oordeel beïnvloeden. Number two. Nummer twee. Another kind of witness that can be admitted into the process of justice een andere soort getuige die ook toegang kan voegen worden is what we call the expert witness is wat we noemen de externe getuige expert witness een externe getuige now this expert can be a doctor en deze externe getuige kan een dokter zijn a doctor that is an expert in the area of internal medicine een dokter die een een expert is of een deskundige is op het gebied van medische dingen yeah you you really know this language <laughs> Hallelujah. When the anointing comes, I will release something on you. Amen. So if a doctor, dus als een dokter, a medical expert, een medische deskundige, brings an autopsy report to court, een autopsieverslag brengt naar de rechtszaak, that indicates the circumstances under which someone died, wat aangeeft hoe iemand onder welke omstandigheden iemand he was not gegaan. there at the scene of the death, hij was niet daar op de scène van de dood, but he has expertise, maar hij heeft deskundigheid, that can make his witness affect the pendulum of justice. wat zijn getuigen, de getuigenis so kan zorgen dat hij oordeelt. So these are the only two kinds of witnesses that can be admitted in the court. en het zijn de enige twee soorten getuigen die toegewezen kunnen worden so in de when, rechtszaak. When Cain was asked, dus toen Kaan gevraagd werd, where is Abel your brother? Waar is Abel uw broer? Cain reasoned Kaan that there was no eyewitness in the event. Dat er geen ooggetuige was in het evenement. Cain reasoned Kaan that there was no expert witness in the event. Dat er geen deskundige getuige was daar. Because of that, dat, he knew beyond doubt wist hij zonder twijfel, that his guilt could not be proven in the court of law. Dat zijn schuld niet bewezen kon worden in de rechtszaak. So he answered casually. Dus hij antwoordde gewoon. Am I my brother's keeper? Ben ik de hoeder van mijn broer? Unfortunately for Cain. En helaas voor Cain. Are, are you still with me? Bent u nog steeds met mij? Stay with me. Blijft u met mij? Unfortunately for Cain. Helaas voor Cain. He was not in the court in the Hague. Was hij niet in de rechtszaak in Den Haag? The court that invited him for summons was not the International Criminal Court in The Hague. Was niet internationale criminele hof van justitie in Den Haag. The court that invited him for questioning was not a federal high court in Nigeria. Het was geen hoge hof in Nigeria. The court that invited him for questioning was the court of heaven. And it was obvious that Cain does not understand the principles or the constitution that that court was established upon. Because in that court, blood can be witness. Bloed kan getuige zijn. Blood. Bloed can be witness in that court. Kan getuige zijn. Now how do I know this? Hoe weet ik dit? The moment Cain said, "Am I my brother's keeper?" Did ja, you give me the responsibility ben ik de hoede van of taking care of an adult? Heb ik verantwoordelijkheid om voor een volwassene te What are you talking about? Am I involved in babysitting an adult Wat now? U? Ben ik verantwoordelijk voor babysitting? That was his response to the court. En dit was het antwoord van de rechtbank. And instantly en direct his case file, the case file that contained the items of his summons was requested. The documenten van de zaak het werd vereist of opgevraagd. So the case file was read to him. Dus het document was was gereed. And he said in verse ten. En het zegt in vers tien. What has thou done? Wat heeft u gedaan? The voice of thy brother's blood. Stem van de bloed van uw broer. Cried 
unto me from the ground. Roept uit naar mij vanuit de grond. It means betekent what even someone they caught to sit in the first place. Wat heeft dit ervoor gezorgd dat de rechtbank in eerste plaats was because the moment his brother's blood was shed. Is het moment dat het bloed van zijn broer vergoten werd. Are you are you still there? Bent u nog steeds daar? You are not there. U bent daar niet. You know Please stay with me. Stay. Blijft u alsjeblieft met mij. What Cain did not know was that blood has vocabulary. Wat kan niet wist is dat bloed vocabulary blood, heeft. Blood has intelligence. Bloed heeft intelligentie. Blood has a voice. Bloed heeft een stem. And the voice of blood was a a capable personality that could summon the court of justice. De stem van bloed had een persoonlijkheid wat hem voor de rechtbank van de hemel kon brengen. The moment the earth received. Abel's blood from Cain's hand. Abel's blood ontving van Cain's hand. The cry of that blood ascended into heaven. The roep van dat bloed ging op in de hemel. And the blood was crying, saying, "Vengeance." And the blood riep uit en zei wraak. Vengeance. Wraak. Vengeance. Wraak. And the utterance of this blood was so intense. And the uitspraak van dit bloed was zo intens. And so, so you couldn't stop that utterance. Je kon die uitspraak niet stoppen. And that's why the court of heaven had to sit down. En moest de rechtbank van de hemel zitten. To deliberate zitten. over the circumstances that led to this unfortunate event. Om te beraadslagen over de omstandigheden die hadden plaatsgevonden van dit jammere evenement. Cain was not educated. Cain was niet opgeleid. About the fact that even though you don't know that there is a court that exists in the invincible realm, your actions will bring the judgment of that court upon your life. Whether you are now, if you check the presentation in the book of Genesis chapter four, you will know obviously that Cain was not aware before this time that the spirit realm sustains sustains. Um, capacity for justice and judgment. Capaciteit bevat voor gerechtigheid en oordeel. Hallelujah. Oh, you are not following me. U volgt mij niet. Now I have noticed that since you are not following. Ik heb opgemerkt sinds u mij niet volgt. What we will do is that we will cut. Wat we doen. The, you know, you see. Are you with me? Bent u met me? All right. Now, Cain was not aware of the fact that there was judicial capacity in the unseen realm. Cain wist niet dat er een juridische capaciteit was in de ongeziene ruimte. Cain thought he was doing something that was private. Cain dacht dat hij iets deed wat privé was. Something that was hidden. Iets wat verborgen was. But he never knew that there was a justice system. In the heavenlies. And whether or not he was in subscription to the justice system, he was going to be liable. En of hij nou verantwoordelijk was, hij zou verantwoordelijk gehouden worden. For his actions. Voor zijn handelingen. By reason of the verdict that will come from the justice system of heaven. Door uitspraak wat zal komen door het juridisch systeem in de hemel. Now, just like. Those of us sitting here now, Net als ons die van jij we are not zitten. aware that there is a justice system in the unseen dimension. We zijn niet bewust dat er een juridisch systeem is in het ongezien. There is a tendency for you to become lawless. Er is een neiging voor u om gewoon wetteloos te worden. There is a tendency for you to begin to like the things that the unbelievers like. Neiging voor u om de dingen leuk te vinden die ongelovigen leuk vinden. And because there seems to be no restraint. Omdat er lijkt omdat geen restrictie is. In the laws of the land. In de wetten van het land. You can take off like a tornado. Dan kunt u afgaan als een tornado. But I came to tell you maar ik ben gekomen om u te vertellen dat er is een justice system that is hidden in the spirit realm. Dat er een systeem is wat verborgen is in de. And the verdict east. of that justice system about your actions. En de uitspraak van het juridisch systeem over uw handeling gaat over uw handelingen. Will take hold. The verdict will take hold. De uitspraak zal vastgrijpen. Whether you are aware that there is such a justice system or not. Of u weet of er zo'n systeem is of niet. This is one of the areas where your ignorance doesn't matter. Dus dit is een gebied waar uw onwetendheid er niet toe doet. Are you still with me? Bent u nog steeds met mij? Okay, so his guilt was proven. Zijn schuld werd bewezen. By the additional information that he was not aware the court was privy to. That he was not aware that the court was privy to. And 
the information was that the ground and the information was that the ground received his blood, brother's blood zijn bloed, broed, de bloed van zijn broer from, from his hand. Van zijn hand. It was as if the ground could testify. Het was alsof de grond kon getuigen. It was as if the ground could tell who who he collected the blood from. Het was alsof de grond kon vertellen van wie hij het bloed had verzameld. Hey, let me read it to you. Ik wil het lezen. The voice of thy brother's blood cried unto me from the ground. De stem van uw bloes broeder riep uit van de grond tot mij. Are you still there? Bent u nog steeds daar? Verse 11. Vers 11. And now thou art cursed from the earth which opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand. Are you there? Bent u daar? You say you are cursed from the earth. Zeg ben vervloekt van de aardbodem. From that same earth, from that same ground that received thy brother's blood, your curse arises. Uw vloek is opgestegen. So the first destruction I want to introduce us to today. De eerste vernietiging waar ik ons aan wil introduceren vandaag. Is called a curse. Heet een vloek. Stay with me. Blijft u met mij? What what did I call it? Hoe noemde ik het? Now, do you know that after the judgment was pronounced, Weet u nou dat het oordeel uitgesproken was? The height of Cain did not change. De hoogte van Cain het veranderde. The complexion of Cain did not change. Zijn complexie veranderde niet. He still had his broad chest. Had nog steeds zijn brede borst. Had his biceps. Had nog steeds zijn biceps. He was still a cool guy. Hij was nog steeds een stoere man. In fact, a lady can look at him and say, "I love him." Een dame kan zeggen en zeggen van, "Ik hou van u." I love him. All of that can still happen. Dat kan allemaal nog gebeuren. But she's not aware of the fact that there was there's something hanging on him like a time bomb. Maar ze was niet bewust dat er iets boven hem hing als een tijdbom. You know the Bible says he sent his word. De Bijbel zegt hij stuurt zijn woord. And his word healed them. En zijn woord genas. And his word delivered them. En zijn woord bevrijdde hen. From all their destructions. Van al hun verwoestingen. And I was drawing your attention to the fact that destructions is in the plural. En ik richtte u aan op het dat verwoestingen meervoud is. Are you still with me? Bent u nog steeds met mij? All right. So, the first thing, because from verse 11 you begin to see the judgment that came upon Cain. Vanaf vers 11 ziet u het oordeel wat op Cain kwam. This is the first judgment. Dit is het eerste oordeel. And now thou art cursed from the earth. En u bent nu vervloekt van de aardbodem. That's one curse. Dat is één vloek. Now let me explain or elaborate on the curse. En ik wil nu verder gaan of uitleggen over de vloek. Verse 12 says. Verse 12 zegt. When thou tillest the ground, it shall not yield henceforth unto thee her strength. Als u de aardbodem bewerkt, zal die niet zijn volle opbrengst meer geven. Now, because of the curse that is on this young man. Vanwege de vloek die is op deze jonge man. Even if he decides to be hardworking. Zelfs als hij besluit hardwerkend te zijn. Because you must have been taught that one of the principles of success is hard work. Want u geleerd is dat een van de principes van succes hard werken is. Even if this guy is hard working. Zelfs al is deze man hard werkend. Because of that curse that is working operating on his life. Die vloek die werkt over zijn leven. His hard work does not translate to success. Zijn harde werk vertaalt zich niet tot succes. His hard work will translate to frustration. Zijn harde werk zal vertalen naar frustratie. Because there is a curse on him. Omdat er een vloek op hem is. The ground has been commanded. De grond is bevolen. Not to yield unto him her strength. Om haar kracht niet aan hem te geven. So it doesn't matter how much impute he makes available. Dus maakt niet uit hoeveel moeite hij doet. It doesn't translate to a commensurate output. Het vertaalt niet naar een goede uitkomst. The reason is because there is a judgment that is hanging over his head. Is omdat er een oordeel is wat hangt boven zijn hoofd. That's number one. Dat is Are you there? Een. Bent u daar? He said, "A fugitive and a vagabond shall that be in the earth." Het is zo'n verdwaalde zijn en een bedelaar zult u zijn op aarde. That means there is no territory. Dat betekent er is geen territory. No place. Geen plaats. That is conducive. Wat, wat vruchtbaar is. To contain his destiny. Om zijn bestemming te bevatten. His destiny cannot find fulfillment in any zijn territory. Zijn bestemming kan in geen enkel territorium vervulling vinden. If he comes to a certain place. Als hij komt op een bepaalde plaats. And it's as if he's doing well. En het lijkt alsof hij goed doet. Something will happen. Dan gebeurt er iets. That will upturn his efforts. Wat alles zijn moeite omkeert. And he will find himself as a fugitive again. En hij vindt zichzelf weer he als een bedelaar. He goes to, 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 to um, Belgium. Hij gaat naar België. And he establishes there. And he settles down there. Begins to make a headway. Something will happen. 
iets gebeurt. That will undo everything that he has done. Wat alles ongedaan maakt wat hij heeft gedaan. Because by reason of the judgment that came upon him. Want door het oordeel wat op hem is gekomen. He was going to be a traveler. Zal hij een reiziger zijn. That never arrives at his destination. Die nooit aankomt op zijn bestemming. A fugitive. Een, een, een that doesn't have a dwelling place. Die geen verblijfplaats heeft. No nation can support his destiny. Geen natie kan zijn bestemming No land can support his ordination. Geen land kan zijn bestaan. And all of these destructions are hanging on the young man. En al deze verwoestingen hangen boven die jonge man. And it is not visible. En het is niet zichtbaar. You cannot see it on his face. Je kunt het niet zien op zijn gezicht. You, you, you can't see it in his blood pressure. Je kunt het niet zien in zijn bloeddruk. You can't see it in, in his glucose level. Je kunt het niet zien in zijn glucose When you take his blood and you run a test on it, Als u bloed neemt you will not test see doet. that there is a judgment hanging on the young Ziet man. Ziet u niet dat er een oordeel hangt over de jonge man? Through any of such analysis. Door zulke analyses. And that's why en dat is waarom. When you move on the streets, als je op straat loopt, see, it's as if everybody's doing well. Het lijkt alsof het goed gaat met iedereen. When you move to the airport, als je gaat naar het vliegveld, it's as if everyone has a destination. Het lijkt alsof iedereen een bestemming heeft. When you go to school, als je gaat naar school, it's as if everyone will turn out to become a great person. Het lijkt alsof iedereen ooit een groot persoon zal worden. But there are some spiritual things. Maar er zijn bepaalde geestelijke dingen. That are hanging. Die hangen. That will defy hard work. Die harde werk zullen bevechten. Defy investment. Investeringen zullen bevechten. Defy business plans. Ondernemingsplannen zullen bevechten. If you are still with me, say amen. Als je nog steeds met mij bent, zeg amen. Those kind of things are the things that the word of God is designed to deliver us from. Waar de woord van God gemaakt is om ons van te bevrijden. He sent his word. Hij stuurde zijn woord. And it healed them. En hij genas hen. And it delivered them from all their destruction. En bevrijdde hun van al hun verwoestingen. If you are still here, say amen. Als u nog hier bent, zeg amen. I still want to take you on a journey. Ik wil u nog steeds meenemen op een reis. To show you some of the symptoms that will find expression if there is a judgment that is hanging over your life. Om te laten zien dat voor symptomen naar voren komen als er een oordeel is wat boven uw leven. Because the moment there is a judgment hanging over your life. Moment dat er een oordeel hangt boven uw hoofd. The issue of hard work is no longer a factor. Het het probleem van hard werk is niet langer een factor. The issue of effort, human effort, is no longer a factor. Het probleem van menselijke moeite is geen factor meer. Now you see the reason why um, in my own session we, we just had a powerful session. Wat een net een krachtige the, sessie gehad. From the apostle. Van de apostel. So many investments were released into the lives of men. Zoveel investeringen werden in het leven van mensen vrijgelaten. So many deposits were Zoveel released. Zoveel uitstortingen werden vrijgelaten. So that has already been done. Dat is al gedaan. So my own session is a different session. Mijn eigen sessie is een andere sessie. Is we are trying to check. What will cost that impartation you have received to be, be of non-effect? That's what we are trying to check. Because if, if, if there is something hanging over your life, and you received an impartation to function in an additional measure of grace. Om te functioneren in een toegevoegde Because a lot of that was taking place. A Want lot of impartation. A lot of release was taking place. Heel veel vrijlating heeft plaatsgevonden. It is possible for you to have received something and when you go to the field of implementation. Het is mogelijk dat je iets vervangt, maar als je gaat op het punt van implementatie. You just realize that your effort. Realiseert u dat uw moeite. Realize that your investment. Dat uw investering. In attempting to deploy these resources, in a poging om deze voorzieningen te krijgen, does not translate niet zich vertaalt to a commensurate desire. Naar een goed verlangen. Then you find out that there are other factors in the matrix. Dan komt u achter dat er andere factoren zijn. That supersede just your effort. Die verder gaan dan uw moeite. You know, I've been in ministry for a while. Ik ben al een tijd in de bediening. And I've met many preachers. En ik heb heel veel predikers ontmoet. I saw a certain preacher. Ik zag een bepaalde prediker. He started ministry. Hij begon de bediening. And the ministry was growing. En de bediening groeide. It was growing. Het groeide. Then he was told that another city seems to have more prospects in terms of financial prospects and possibilities. Dat een andere stad betere financiële so he left, had. he left this place. Dus hij verliet deze plaats. Then he went to try himself en hij ging daar ergens in proberen. the city. 
in die stad. He began to succeed. En hij begon te slagen. But unfortunately for him. Maar helaas voor hem. He did not know. Wist hij niet. That all the place where the church was built. De plaats waar de kerk gebouwd was. The government had interest in that location. De overheid had ook interesse After in dat gebied. After they have built the building. In een groot gebouw. Huge cathedral. Een heel grote kathedraal. Mighty building. Een machtig gebouw. He was already considering, considering himself as a big, big man of God. Dacht, hij zag zichzelf als een hele grote man God. Then the government came and marked the building. En toen kwam de overheid en ze hebben het gebouw gemarkeerd. Okay. You don't know the meaning of that mark in the, in the, in the Netherlands. Kent u de betekenis van dat teken niet in Nederland? There is a mark. Er is een teken. That they mark buildings in Nigeria. Waar ze gebouw mee markeren in Nigeria. If you if you wake up in the morning and see. Als u ochtends wakker wordt. A red X. En u ziet een rode X. On your building. Op uw gebouw. What it means is mark for demolition. Gemarkeerd voor vernietiging. What you are building is not on the master plan. Wat u bouwt is niet op de in het in het plan. So they finished build. They allowed them to build. Dus ze lieten hem te bouwen. And garnish the building. Put all kinds of decoration. Mo- mooie dingen versiering geplaatst. They geplaats. were getting ready for an inauguration. Ze maakten klaar voor de When they woke up one morning, they saw. Toen ze enig wakker werden, zagen ze. That was how they demolished that building. And that is how they that be- And all the members were hebben. demolished with the building. And all the leaders were also vernietigd met So he gebouw. ran back to where he was. So he ran back to where he was. By the time he arrived there, by the time that he arrived there, all the people had joined other churches. Waren alle mensen naar andere he kerken. preached. Hij he prayed. He prayed. He prophesied. He prophesied. Nothing happened. Niets gebeurde. Now he, one day he now sat down. Eén dag ging hij nu zitten. And he discovered what was wrong with him. En hij ontdekte wat er mis met hem was. And what he discovered was that any time he's beginning to advance. En wat hij ontdekte iedere keer als hij vooruit ging. He's beginning to make progress. Dat hij progressie maakte. He would take a wrong decision. Dat hij een verkeerde beslissing zou nemen. That will collapse any form of progress that he has achieved. Wat elke vorm van progressie wat hij had bereikt weer zou doen It happened once. Het gebeurde één keer. Happened two times. Het gebeurde tweede keer. Happened three times. Het gebeurde de derde keer. It was in the fourth time that he discovered that there was a pattern. Dat hij ontdekte dat er een patroon was. Are you still following what I'm talking Volgt about? nog steeds wat ik zeg. It means that there's something. Het betekent dat er iets is. That is affecting his decision making processes. Wat zijn besluitvaardigheidsproces beïnvloedt. As long as that influence is over his life. En zolang die invloed is over zijn leven. It doesn't leven, matter how much success you give him to manage. Maakt het niet uit hoeveel succes je hem geeft. It will run down. Het zal gewoon weer neerkomen. If you are still with me, say amen. Zie nog met mij mensen zeggen amen. You have received an impartation. You have the impartation ontvangen. You have received the blessing. You have the seed ontvangen. Something powerful happened here today. Iets krachtigs is hier vandaag. Now we need to ensure. Nu moeten we ervoor zorgen. That there is no resistance that is built over the implementation dat er of what you received. Dat er geen weerstand is gebouwd voor de implementatie die je hebt ontvangen. He sent his words. Hij stuurt zijn woorden. And it healed them. En and it delivered them from all their destructions. So what we want to do is to investigate doen, destructions. Is om verwoestingen te onderzoeken. One of them is a curse. Een van ze is een vloek. You see, the, a curse is the opposite of a blessing. Een vloek is het tegenovergestelde van een zegen. What a blessing does is that it empowers you to succeed. Een zegen bekrachtigt u om te slagen. And what a curse does is that it empowers you to fail. En een vloek bekrachtigt u om te falen. As long as there is a curse on your life, er een vloek is op uw leven, you will see a meticulous pattern of resistance that is over your life. Patroon van weerstand zien wat is op uw leven. You will see a very scientific pattern of resistance that is over your destiny. Ziet een heel kenmerkend patroon van weerstand wat is op uw bestemming. You will be empowered to fail. U wordt bekrachtigd om te falen. In some cases, it, is, it manifests like a spirit of reproach. En soms gebeurt het gebeurt als een geest van. No matter the efforts you put in. Terugslag. Het maakt niet hoeveel moeite u plaatst. You find a force that is moving you backward. U vindt een macht wat u weer terugduwt. Now these are spiritual barricades. En dit zijn geestelijke barricades. That are operational in the destinies of men. Die werken in de bestemming van mensen. And God is saying that the antidote that I've created. En God zegt het tegenmiddel wat ik heb. For those dimensions of destruction. Van die dimensies van vernietiging. Is my word. Is mijn woord. For he sent his word. Want hij stuurt zijn woord. And it healed them. En genas hen. And delivered them from their destruction. Van hun verwoestingen. If you are still with me say amen. Als u nog met mij bent zeg amen. All right, still in an attempt to 
show us the definition of what a curse is. En de poging moest laten zien wat de definitie van een vloek is. And how a curse operates. En hoe een vloek werkt. Numbers chapter 22. Numerie hoofdstuk 22. Numbers chapter 22. Numerie hoofdstuk 22. Numbers chapter 22. Numerie hoofdstuk 22. Beginning from verse number four. Beginning from verse four. And Moab said unto the elders of Midian, Now shall this company lick up all that are around and about us, as the ox licketh up the grass of the field. And Balak, the son of Zippor, was king of the Moabites at that time. And he sent messengers, therefore, unto Balaam, the son of Beor, to Petor, which is by the river of the land of the children of his people, to call him, saying, Behold, there is a people come out from Egypt. Behold, they cover the face of the earth, and they abide over against me. Come now, therefore, I pray thee, curse me these people, for they are too mighty for me. Peradventure, I shall prevail that we may smite them. Are you seeing what we are talking about here? Now, there were a lot of recommendations that came to King Balak. Er waren heel veel aanbevelingen die kwamen naar koning Balak. Recommendations of people that had supernatural power. Aanbevelingen van mensen die bovennatuurlijke krachten hadden. That can be deployed to be a resistance in the way of the children of Israel. Die gebruikt kunnen worden als een weerstand voor de kinderen van Israël. But among all the recommendations that came to him, he chose Balaam. Maar onder alle aanbevelingen verkoos hij Balaam. The reason why he chose Balaam was that it was said concerning Balaam. Het werd gezegd aangaande Balaam. That anyone Balaam should curse is cursed. Dat iedereen die Balaam vervloekt vervloekt is. Anyone Balaam should bless is blessed. En iedereen die Balaam zegent is gezegend. You know, are you are you with me? Bent u met mij? For instance, we have different kinds of anointing. Als voorbeeld we hebben verschillende soorten salvingen. If you have walked in the anointing that God has placed on your life. Als je gewandeld heeft in de salving die God op je leven heeft gelegd. For a while. You will know the capacities of the anointing that you carry. Dan weet u de capaciteiten van de salving die u draagt. When you understand the anointing that is on your life. Als u de salving begrijpt die op uw leven is. You will know whether you are the most suited person to be brought on the scene for a particular challenge. Dan weet u of u de meest geschikte persoon bent die wat gebracht moet worden op een scène voor een bepaald probleem. For instance, David said. Als voorbeeld David zei. My horn. Mijn horn. Shall thou exalt? Zult u verhogen? Like the horn of a unicorn. Als het horn van een eend. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Met verse olie gezalfd worden. So what that scripture is saying? Wat die vers zegt. Is that when an anointing comes upon you? Is wanneer er een salving op u komt. There is an aspect of your life that becomes authoritative on the account of that investment. Aspect van uw leven wat autoriteit krijgt over die investering. Now. My friend Theophilus just ministered here. My friend Theophilus heeft net bediend. When the anointing comes upon him, when the salving op him comes, the spirit of prayer travels through his music. He sings. Then reis de geest van gebed door zijn muziek door het zingen. Fundamentally, he is an intercessor. Fundamenteel is hij een voorbeeldje. Like most of us. Zoals meeste van ons. But the aspect of ministry God gave him. Het aspect van bediening wat God hem gaf. The authority. God gave him as an intercessor. De autoriteit die God hem gaf als een voorbeeld. Is his singing? Is zijn zingen? The moment he begins to sing. The moment dat hij begint te zingen. You will think he is singing. Denkt u dat hij zingt? But what he is doing is that he is infecting you with the spirit of intercession. Maar wat hij doet, hij infecteert u met de geest van voorbeelden. 
He's infecting you. You are, you are, you are not aware. You think? After a while, you will discover you are praying more than you are singing. As, and it's not as if somebody gave you an orientation before the worship session. Are you, are you following what I'm talking about? Now, so there's an anointing upon him that makes his singing have authority. The hand of God is on his singing. The hand of God is on his singing. It's not. I know you know how to sing. Ik weet dat u weet hoe te zingen. But you don't have that horn. Maar u heeft die horn niet. That's why the apostle invited him all the way from Nigeria. Daarom heeft de apostel hem helemaal uit Nigeria uitgenodigd. So when we begin to evaluate spiritual things, one of the areas of evaluation that we must conduct is, is the authority that comes out of the spiritual investment. Is the authority that comes out of the spiritual investment. Are you still following one of the And when I say spiritual investment is general, it can, be, it can be a divine investment. It can be a godly investment. It can also be a demonic investment. But in analyzing the investment, we try to see the authority that manifests when that investment is operational. We try to see see when that authority manifests when the investment works. Are you here? Are you here? Been to here. Now, for the investment I have, if the investment is activated, it gives me the capacity to teach. For the investment that I have, when it is activated, it gives me the capacity to teach. So even if you call me to pray, I will teach. Dus ook al als u me belt om te bidden, I will teach first. Eerst onderwijzen. I will teach to a point where I don't need to ask you to pray. You will be, will to begin to. Begin to because bidden. I know what received authority based on the investment that I received. Want ik weet wat voor ik heb door de investering die ik heb ontvangen. Because of the investment I received. Vanwege de investering die ik heb ontvangen. The way I do everything is to start it with teaching. Hoe ik alles doe is om te beginnen met onderwijzen. Do you understand? Begrijpt u dat? If if I want people to give their life to Christ, no problem. I will just start teaching. I, I will achieve that through teaching. Dan bereik ik dat door onderwijs. If if I desire that people receive miracles, signs and wonders, teken en wonder ontvangen. I initiate the process of teaching. Dan begin ik het proces met onderwijs. The reason why it is so is because the investment I receive. Dat is omdat investering die ik heb ontvangen. Has a horn. Een hoorn heeft. In the area of teaching. In het gebied van onderwijs. You get that now. Begrijpt u dat? All right. In analyzing in the man called Balaam. The man genaamd Balaam. After many years of seeing his operations. Na vele jaren zijn handelingen zien. This was the conclusion that was reached. Was dit de conclusie die bereikt was? Anyone he curses. Iedereen die hij vervloekt. Is cursed. Is vervloekt. Anyone he blesses. En iedereen die hij zegent. Is blessed. Is gezegend. So that is the basis of his recommendation. Dus dat is de basis van zijn aanbeveling. So of all the people that were presented to the king, all the proposals dus that came. Alle mensen, alle voorstellen die gedaan werden aan de koning. He picked Balaam. Koos hij Balaam. I said, all right, Balaam. I said, okay, Balaam. We want to give you a contract. We willen u een contract geven. We want to hire you. We willen u aannemen. As a nation. Als een natie. Your job description is simple. En uw werkomschrijving is simpel. Anything you do to activate that your ordination, Alles that, wat that your, doet, om that your spiritual investment, de geestelijke investering te activeren, that gives you the ability to curse people. Wat u de mogelijkheid geeft om mensen te And vervloeken. the curses will take hold. Go and activate it. En die vloek vasthoudt, ga en activeer het nu. When you see what Balaam did, als je ziet wat Balaam deed, the moment he was given the contract, het moment dat hij een contract gegeven werd, he had, raised seven altars. Dit hij zeven altaren opstaan. Are you there? Bent u daar? Now, I don't have time to explain. He actually raised 21 altars. Eigenlijk dit hij 21 altaren opstaan. Raised seven. Seven. Raised another seven to Weer support that seven. Weer zeven om die zeven te ondersteunen. Raised another seven to support these seven. En weer zeven om die zeven te ondersteunen. But I don't have time to tell you about that technology. Maar ik heb geen tijd om u daarover te vertellen. Those were altars of divination that he raised. Het waren altaren van waarzegerij. No time today. Geen tijd vandaag. Because the subject is not spiritual warfare. Want onderwerp is geen geestelijke oorlogsvoering. So we may not need to go into the mystery that was captured. Dus we hoeven niet in die geheimenissen te gaan. In the alignments of the altars of Balaam. In de lijn van de altaren die van Balaam. 
if he wants to shoot at you in such a way that he will never miss, he needs to raise 21 of them. And sacrifice upon 21 of them. Uses seven to support seven. Uses the third seven to support the second seven. That's an airtight arrangement. Are you still with me? Now, the contract that he was called to accomplish was to bring a curse upon the children of Israel. And when he does that, it will not be obvious that there's a spiritual bar barricade that is resisting them. Are you still following what I'm talking about? Here? But when they come into battle, the curse that is upon them will make them fail in battle. So you can do well every day. But if there is a test, maar er een test is, you, you can't survive it. Dan kunt u het niet overwinnen. You can be doing cool. Je kunt het goed if doen. If circumstances come to test you, maar wanneer omstandigheden u komen you fall like a pack of cards. Dan valt u als you een doos kaarten. Okay. Je kunt oké okay doen. If situations come to test you, maar wanneer situaties komen om te beproeven, you fall like a pack of cards. Dan valt u als een doos kaarten. The curse was going to manifest in battle. Een vloek zal zich manifesteren in strijd. This is what he said. Dit is wat hij zei. Come now, therefore. I pray thee and curse these people. Hij zei, roep nu en kom en vervloek deze mensen. For they are too mighty for me. Want ze zijn te machtig voor mij. Peradventure I shall prevail. Maar ik kan het verslaan. That I may smite them. Dat ik ze verdrijf. That they and that I may drive them out of the land. Dat ik ze verslaan en uit het land verdrijf. Because I heard. Want ik heb gehoord. That anyone you bless. Dat iedereen die u zegent. Is blessed. Gezegend is. And anyone you curse is cursed. En iedereen die u vervloekt is vervloekt. So a man. Dus that is operating under a curse. Die handelt onder de vloek. He fails in the day of battle. Hij faalt in de dag van strijd. He will do well on other days. Hij kan het op andere dagen goed doen. But when battle comes. Maar wanneer een strijd komt. He fails. Dan valt hij. When a test comes. Wanneer een beproeving komt. He fails. Dan valt hij. When a trial comes. Wanneer een tegenslag komt. He fails. Dan valt hij. He cannot survive a test. Een test niet overwinnen. Are you still with me? Bent u nog steeds met so mij? So that is the first destruction. Dus dat is de eerste verwoesting. Number two. Nummer twee. You see, apostle didn't give me time. Ziet u, apostel heeft me geen tijd gegeven. So I will mention number two and end. Dus ik noem nummer twee en ik eindig. No, you see, when when you are trusted, you are trusted with a microphone. Wanneer de microfoon wordt toevertrouwd. On a platform like this, it's better for you to behave yourself, you know? It's better that you self gedraagt. You have to behave yourself. You self gedragen. Don't move too much. Niet te veel bewegen. Okay. Um, before I move to number two, Voordat I'm going to give you twee, some symptoms geef ik u een paar symptomen that are suggestive of the, the fact that a curse is at work. Die suggereren dat een vloek aan het werken is. One. Eén. Near miracle syndrome. Bijna wonder syndroom. You are almost arriving at a breakthrough. Je komt bijna aan bij een doorbraak. It's almost about to come to pass. Het komt bijna tot stand. You are just about to lay hold on it. Je staat bijna op het punt het vast te grijpen. Then it crumbles. En dan verkruimelt het. That is very likely. Het is heel. That there is a spiritual resistance. Dat is heel waarschijnlijk dat er een geestelijke is. That is against your life. Wat tegen uw leven is opgestaan. Halleluja. Amen. Now you see the way that response came. Hoe de manier hoe die reactie kwam. Is suggestive that of the fact that you don't need me to read this list. Dat u niet nodig heeft dat ik deze lijst voorlees. This diagnostic list that I wanted to read now. Deze lijst ik nu wilde voorlezen. I just mentioned the first one and there's depression. There's mass depression. En er is massa depressie. In the entire crusade. In de gehele crusade. The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will help in the name of Jesus Christ. Well, like I said, there's depression. So, say, so we'll just leave the list. It means it seems you will feel better without that it list. It seems you will feel better without that list. Near miracle syndrome. Bijna wonder syndrome. You're almost arriving at it. You come bijna aan. Almost laying hold upon it. Ik kan het bijna vastgrijpen. You are close to it. Je bent er dichtbij. And then it shuts down. En dan en dan sluit het zich af. Then you rise again. En dan staat u weer op. Plan again. 
klimt weer. Begin to invest. Begin te investeren. When breakthrough is about to come. Wanneer de doorbraak op het punt staat te komen. U op punt staat vast te grijpen. It crumbles. Dan verkruimelt het. Now if you see that pattern in your life. Als u dat patroon ziet in uw leven. It is suggestive of the fact. Dan is dat waarschijnlijk. That there is an invisible barrier. Dat een onzichtbare barrière is. That is standing against your destiny. Wat tegen uw bestemming opstaat. The Bible says he sent his word. De Bible zegt hij zijn woord. And it healed them. En hij genas. And it delivered them from all their destructions. En van al hun verwoestingen. So my assignment tonight is simple. Dus mijn opdracht vanavond is simpel. We want to become vessels through which God can send His word. We willen vaten worden waardoor God zijn woord kan sturen. The moment we can achieve that. Het moment dat we dat kunnen bereiken. Then that word is capable enough. En dan is dat woord capabel genoeg. To deal with the destruction. Om af te handelen met die verwoestingen. If you are still with me, say. Bent u nog steeds met mij? Zeg amen. Amen. Number two. Nummer twee. Symptom that indicates that there is spiritual resistance. Een symptoom dat indicatie geeft dat er geestelijke weerstand is. Is an unnatural cycle of lack. Een onnatuurlijke cirkel van tekort. Somewhere along the line during the course of ministry. Ergens gaan we de weg van bediening doen. I met someone that has been in debt for 30 years. Heb ik iemand ontmoet die al voor 30 jaar in schulden zat? So for 30 years of that individual's life. Dus 30 jaar van het leven van dit individu. The individual has been in debt. Is de individu in schulden geweest? When you find a situation. Wanneer u een situatie vindt. That brings you into some kind of bondage. Wat bepaalde gebondenheid brengt. And it is perpetual. En het is telkens weer. It is consistent. Het is consistent. It is sustained. Het wordt vastgehouden. It is suggestive. Het het is suggestief. Of resistance. Van weerstand. Are you with me? Bent u met mij? For 30 years, somebody has been in debt for 30 years. Iemand is al 30 jaar in schulden. When you see unnatural cycles. Of lack. When you see unnatural cycles of lack, it is suggestive of such hindrances. Then suggests it from such hindrances. All right. Are you still here? Bent u nog steeds hier? Number two. We are trying to take inventory of destructions. U doet nummer twee probeert te krijgen wat vernietigde verwoestingen zijn. If we can take full inventory of Destructions, and as I'm teaching, you are beginning to see your life surface. In the descriptions that I'm making, it means that this meeting was designed for you. And God deliberately set you up by bringing you here so that He can remove things that are insisting upon resisting His program. For your life. Hierop staan om het programma voor uw leven te weerstaan. Halleluja. Amen. Number two. Nummer twee. There is something called in the Bible the sicknesses of the Egyptians. Er is iets in de Bijbel wat heet de ziektes van de Egyptenaren. It means that these sicknesses. Betekent dat deze ziektes. Are found among the Egyptians. Bevonden werden onder de Egyptenaren. We are talking about cyclical diseases. We hebben over cystes, ziektes. Things that go and come. Of cyclus, de ziektes die komen en gaan. It, it, you treat it. U behandelt het. It will go. Het gaat. After a while. Na een tijd. It will come again. Komt het weer terug. You treat it. U behandelt het. It will subside. Het neemt af. And after a while. En na een tijd. It will come again. Komt het weer terug. So it has a potential. Dus het heeft een potentie. Of longevity. Van langdurigheid. It has a potential the potency to persist. Om te blijven aanhouden. It has a potential it the potency to reoccur. Om weer op te komen. It's a destruction. It is a verwoesting. Hallelujah. Amen. When we go into the practical aspect of this, we gaan in het my presentation, van mijn presentatie, this is my lecture, dit mijn college. When we go into the practical aspect, als we gaan naar het praktische aspect. Um, there are some things that will happen here. Er zijn een aantal dingen die hier zullen gebeuren. Some things we will mention. Dingen die we zullen opnoemen. You will think we are lying. En u zult denken dat we liegen. But the Holy Ghost will prove that it is not a lie. Maar de Heilige Geest zal bewijzen dat het geen lucht is. Because I'm already seeing 
the signs of some destructions. Very terrible destructions. I'm seeing it already. Because I struggled with this message. When, when God said, meanwhile, there are powerful apostolic messages that I can preach. And whenever you see me with my red diary, it means that I'm ready to teach. So that I, so many, I prayed, 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 and he whispered to me. He sent his word, and it healed them, and delivered them from all their destructions. They are such incurable diseases. Now, I need to tell you my own story. There was a curse on my family. And the curse manifests when you arrive at the age of 21. When you are below 21, you'll be fine. It's as if this curse is sensitive to time. It's sensitive to time. The curse can read the calendar. The fluke on the calendar That's when I discovered that witches can keep time. En toen ontdekte ik dat heksen tijd kunnen nemen. Necromancers can keep time. Necromancers kunnen tijd nemen. Wizards can keep time. Heksen kunnen, tovenaars kunnen tijd nemen. But Christians don't know anything about time. Maar christenen weten niet zoveel tijd. We are just rolling stones. We, ro we rollen gewoon stenen. Even in wickedness, there is a science in it. Zelfs in slechtheid, daar there zit een wetenschap in. There is a pattern in it. Er zit een patroon in. There is an orientation in er it. Er is een oriëntatie in. And as you begin to grow in the Lord, en hoe begint te groeien in de Heer, the Lord begins to establish a regiment around your life. Begint de Heer een, 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 een schema te maken so om je leven heen. So that your life will follow a certain pattern. Zodat so uw leven een bepaald patroon volgt. The demands on your consecration will begin to heighten. En de vereisten op je apartzetting worden verhoogd. Then to become obvious that you are not your own. Het zal duidelijk worden dat u niet meer uw eigen bent. That you belong to another. Dat u behoort tot iemand anders. And the evidence of his ownership over your life will become more and more intense. En het bewijs van zijn eigendom op uw leven wordt intenser. It is because his jealousy is beginning to arise over you. Zijn jaloezie begint te verhogen. So he begins to claim you to himself alone. Dus hij begint u te claimen voor zichzelf. Are you there? Bent u daar? Now, if you have not seen the jealousy of God over your life, Als je de jaloezie van God niet heeft gezien over uw leven, if you have not sensed that He wants to suck you into the realm of the spirit, als je niet heeft gemerkt dat Hij wilt inzuigen in de ruimte van so de geest, so that He can manipulate your taste buds, zodat Hij smaakpupillen kan manipuleren, and influence your desires, en die verlangens kan beïnvloeden, it means you have not been a deep Christian. You betekent have been dat shallow. u geen diepe Christen bent geweest. U bent oppervlakkig geweest. The time comes when the Lord begins to wield the scepter of His jealousy over you. Het tijd komt dat de Heer zijn scepter van jaloezie begint make, uit te steken. He will make demands on you. Hij begint eisen te stellen van u. He will. He will. He will insist that you sustain a certain kind of life dat u een bepaald leven behoudt. That sustains him as the center of your existence. Wat hem behoudt als de kern van uw bestaan. That you are all together given to him Waar u as his property. Waar u helemaal gegeven bent als zijn so eigendom. So he determines what happens to you. En hij bepaalt wat er met u gebeurt. When, when you live that way. Wanneer u zo leeft. It will be a luxury for you to desire something that God has not permitted. Zal het een luxe zijn dat u verlangt naar iets wat God niet heeft toegelaten. If you are still with me, say amen. Als u nog met mij bent, zeg amen. When you arrive at the age of 21, when you arrive at the age of 21, a strange thing will happen to you. Dan gebeurt iets vreemds met u. Our firstborn. Onze eerstgeborene. Arrived at the age of 21. Kwam op de leeftijd van 21 aan. He had a mental disorder. En had een mentale mentaal probleem. The name of the disorder was called schizophrenia. En de naam daarvan was schizofrenie. Second one. De tweede. When he got to 21. Toen hij bij 21 kwam. Stepped on something. Stapte hij op iets. On the left leg. En zijn linkerbeen. The left leg became three times as fat as the right leg. Linkerbeen werd drie keer zo dik als zijn rechterbeen. If you know Africa. Als u Afrika kent. That's not a medical situation. Is dat geen medische situatie? You stepped on charms. Hij stampte on materials. Op, op, op materialen. That has been infused with demonic power. Die bekrachtigd waren met demonische kracht. And that is the reason for this leg becoming 
three times as fat as this one. When we took her to the hospital, the surgeon said the only thing we can do is to amputate So my mother said no. Let the leg rot by itself. We will never amputate. So after fasting and prayer, dus na vast en gebed, my mom fasted for three days. Mijn moeder vastte voor drie dagen. Three days without food. Drie dagen zonder voedsel. After which, Daarna took her to the hospital again. Na maar weer naar het ziekenhuis. So the surgeons that were there that day were different from the die first one. De chirurgen die daar waren waren andere dan de eerste dag. It's all right. So what we are going to do is that we will tear the leg open. Dus wat ze zeiden we gaan het been openhalen. Anything that is inside making it fat, we'll take en it out. En alles wat erin zit wat het vet maakt halen we weg. We'll clean it up. We maken het schoon. And close it up. En sluiten het weer. If it Becomes fat again. Als het weer dik wordt, then we'll cut it. dan amputeren we het. So they took my sister to the hospital. Dus ze namen mijn zus mee naar het ziekenhuis. And they tore the leg open. Ze hebben haar been opengehouden. It was full of pus. Het was vol pus? met pus. Ja. Yeah. They brought two buckets of pus ze from my sister's leg. Ze brachten twee emmers van pus uit mijn zus haar been. You know, you know, you know pus? Kent u pus? Two buckets of pus Twee were drawn out of the leg. Twee emmers van pus kwamen uit haar been. Then they cleaned the inside. Ze hebben de binnenkant schoongemaakt. Then they stitched it back. En ze hebben die gehecht. And they were expecting that the pus would come back. But because of prayer, the, even the place where they tore the legs to get the pus out, it disappeared. It disappeared. Wow. When our third born became 21 years old, derde geboren, 21 jaar oud werd, he had a sickness. Had hij een ziekte. That kind of sickness that I say only belongs to the Egyptian. Die ziekte waarvan ik zeg het behoort alleen de Egyptenaren. He could not be diagnosed. Hij kon geen diagnose krijgen. Doctors all over the place could not diagnose Doctoren the affliction that was on this man. Konden niet diagnoseren wat hem lastig viel. They took even his hair. Ze dachten zelfs zijn haar. His fingernails. Zijn nagels. Blood. Bloed. Took it to London for analysis. For analysis. It came out clean. Het kwam gewoon schoon eruit. But the young man was dying. Maar die jonge man was stervende. Are you there? Bent u daar? The fourth born. De vierde. I watched my immediate elder brother. Ik zag mijn directe oudere broer. Run mad before my eyes. Gek worden voor mijn ogen. I I saw how he became mad. Ik zag hoe hij gek werd. And all of these things happened at 21. En al deze dingen gebeuren op de leeftijd van 21. Then I was 19. Toen was ik 19. And I knew that I had two years. En ik wist dat ik twee jaar had. To prepare myself. Om mezelf voor te bereiden. Because Satan was going to send a message. Want Satan zal een boodschap sturen. I don't know if you are here tonight. Ik weet niet of je hier bent vanavond. You've seen a pattern in your life. Je hebt een patroon gezien in je leven. In your family, something of darkness has been walking a mystery from one sibling to another sibling, from one generation to another generation. It is destruction, it's like a wild wind looking for who to devour. But the Bible says that He sent His word, it healed them, it delivered them from all their destruction. I had two years left. Ik had nog twee jaar over. To prepare myself for the storm. Om mezelf voor te bereiden voor deze ding. I learned how to pray in tongues. Ik leerde hoe te bidden in tongen. I learned how to pray in the night. Ik leerde hoe de nacht te bidden. Do you know that on the day of my birthday, 21st birthday, I forgot. Op mijn eerst 21 verjaardag was ik het vergeten. Those days I was still in the university. Weet ik was die dagen nog op de universiteit. And we used to do this prayer from 12 midnight to 1 a.m. En we deden dit gebed van 12 tot 1 s nachts. I was a bit late. En ik was een beetje laat. So I was hurrying to the place of prayer. Dus ik haastte me naar de plek van gebed. It was past 12 midnight. Het was voorbij 12 uur s nachts. And if you know a typical campus environment. En als je een typische campusomgeving kent. It doesn't matter what time of the night you wake up. Het maakt niet hoe laat van de nacht u wakker wordt. You find people moving on the walkway. You see, mensen gewoon lopen. That is a typical campus environment in Africa. That is a campus environment in Africa. It doesn't matter what time of the night you use the walkway. You find people. It doesn't matter how late you walk. You find people. Some are going to start reading. Ze begon te lezen. Others are coming back for no time of the night. Geen tijd van de nacht. The walkway must have people on it. Die die weg moet mensen hebben. That night. Maar die nacht. I was alone. Was ik alleen? It was surprising. It was verrassend. And then. A bird appeared. En toen verscheen er een vogel. Trying to 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 stand on my head. En probeerde te staan op mijn hoofd. That was when I discovered. Toen ontdekte ik. My brothers had mental illness. Waarom mijn broers mentale problemen hadden. Satan kept time. Satan hield tijd bij. 
demons that kept the time. Demons had the time by held. It was just a few minutes past twelve midnight. It was just a few minutes past twelve midnight. That I became twenty-one years old. That I became twenty-one years old. They had sent the messenger. And they had the messenger sent. And he wanted to stand on my head. And he wanted to stand on my head. I tried to attack it in the flesh. I tried to attack it in the flesh. It came so close. So I wanted to. When I tried to strike it. When I tried to strike it. The way it moved back. How it turned back to the front. I knew it was not natural. I knew that it was not natural. What I'm saying is not a movie. What I'm saying is not a movie. I'm telling you my story. What happened to me? I'm telling you my story. What happened to me? I'm telling you my story. What happened to me? It ging achteruit. Then the Holy Spirit whispered to me. Toen fluisterde de Heilige Geest. That if you, if you, if you fear tonight. Als je vandaag vreest. You will die. Zult u sterven. So I closed my eyes. Dus ik deed mijn ogen dicht. And I began to speak in tongues. En ik begon te spreken in tongen. And I spoke tongues in capital letters. En ik sprak tongen met hoofdletters. Pop. Somebody might need to speak tongues in capital letters this night. Iemand moet misschien vanavond tongen spreken met hoofdletters. After 15 minutes of speaking violently in the spirit, opened my eyes. I saw that one of the wings of the bed was broken. I saw that one of the wings of the bed was broken. I saw that one of the wings of the bed was broken. I saw that one of the wings of the bed was broken. I saw that one of the wings of the bed was broken. I saw that one of the wings of the bed was broken. I saw that one of the wings of the bed was broken. I saw that one of the wings of the bed was broken. I saw that one of the wings of the bed was broken. I saw that one of the wings of the bed was broken. I saw that one of the wings of the bed was broken. I saw that one of the wings of the bed was broken. I saw that one of the wings of the bed was broken. I saw that one of the wings of the bed was broken. I saw that one of the wings of the bed was broken. I saw that one of the wings of the bed was broken. I saw that one of the wings of the bed was broken. I saw that one of the wings of the bed was broken. I saw that one of the wings of the bed was broken. I saw that one of the Then he ran into the bush. En toen ging er de struik in. I continued and went to the place of prayer. En ik ging verder naar de plek van gebed. And I forgot about what happened. En ik vergat wat er was gebeurd. Three days later. Drie dagen later. I was called. Was ik geroep gebeld. I said one of my relatives. Een van mijn familieleden. In the village. In het dorp. He woke up. Stood by his the entrance of his door. Werd wakker en stond bij de ingang van zijn deur. And he fell. En hij viel. Face down. Met gezicht naar beneden. Zijn hoofd op de grond. That was how he died. En dat is hoe hij stierf. I I just want to assure you that in the prayer that I prayed, I didn't pray for anybody to die. I just. In the prayer that I prayed, I didn't pray for anybody to die. I just. In the prayer that I prayed, I didn't pray for anybody to die. I just. In the prayer that I prayed, I didn't pray for anybody to die. I just. In the prayer that I prayed, I didn't pray for anybody to die. I just. In the prayer that I prayed, I didn't pray for anybody to die. I just. In the prayer that I prayed, I didn't pray for anybody to die. I just. In the prayer that I prayed, I didn't pray for anybody to die. I just. In the prayer that I prayed, I didn't pray for anybody to die. I just. In the prayer that I prayed, I didn't pray for anybody to die. I just. In the prayer that I prayed, I didn't pray for anybody to die. I just. In the prayer that I prayed, I didn't pray for anybody to die. I just. In the prayer that I prayed, I didn't pray for Darkness upon me. Did he doubt in his own will to bring it? I did not know that there was a human being that was behind it. That there was a man who was there behind it. So when I struck it, it affected the person that was behind it. It influenced the person who was behind it. Now, one of the things that will take place here today. One of the things that will take place here today. There are some people that are behind some of your travails. Die achter sommige van uw problemen. The hand of God will fall on them. Mogen de kracht van God op ze vallen. In de naam van Jezus Christus. That was how freedom came to my family. That is how freedom came to my family. God will conduct a search. God will conduct a search. There are some people that cannot see marriages thrive. There are some people that cannot see marriages thrive. There are some people that cannot see marriages thrive. There are some people that cannot see marriages thrive. There are some people that cannot see marriages thrive. There are some people that cannot see marriages thrive. There are some people that cannot see marriages thrive. There are some people that cannot see marriages thrive. There are some people that cannot see marriages thrive. There are some people that cannot see marriages thrive. There are some people that cannot see marriages thrive. There are some people that cannot see marriages thrive. There are some people that cannot see marriages thrive. There are some people that cannot see marriages thrive. There are some people that cannot see marriages There is a tendency for both parties not to know that there is a spiritual side. And it's a neiging that both parties don't see that there is a spiritual aspect going on. We like to analyze things from the natural realm. We hold it to find things to analyze it from the natural realm. Are you with me? Are you with me? I tell you my story. This is my practical experience. This is my practical experience. That was how my family came out of the swamp. That is how my family came out of the swamp that the devil had placed us. De zwam waar de duivel ons in had geplaatst. And when we intensified in prayer, en dit gebed intensiever maakte. Even the people that had those attacks, zelf de mensen die die aanvallen kregen, op hun mentale gezondheid, ze werden genezen, een na de ander. My God. So now it will want to wage war. Dus nu wil het oorlog voeren. Against destructions. Tegen verwoestingen. In the name of Jesus Christ. In de naam van Jezus Christus. Hallelujah. Amen. Now I'm going to give you an opportunity to pray. Ik ga je mogelijkheid geven om te bidden. Now the prayer is going to be a bit different from the prayers we have prayed. This one is warfare. We are praying. It's warrior prayer. It is oorlogsvoering. It is an oorlogsgebed. 
when you want to get, get resistance out of your way, you don't pray like this. Seko mari keboroko si. It means you are interested in the bondage. Betekent dat u geïnteresseerd bent in die gebondenheid. It is when you become restless that a yoke breaks. Het is wanneer u rusteloos wordt dat een juk verbreekt. You know, Isaac's beloved son was actually Esau. Isaac's geliefde son was eigenlijk Esau. But Jacob manipulated him. Maar Jacob manipuleerde hem. And received the blessing of the firstborn. En ontving de zegen van de eerstgeborene. When Esau came back from the field with venison, terugkwam van het veld met de soep die had gemaakt. He came and appeased his father. Hij kwam uit zijn vader tot tot rust gebracht. And the father said, Ah, there's nothing I can do about it. And the father said, I've already blessed it. Er is niets wat ik kan doen. Ik heb hem al gezegend. He will rule over you. You will serve him. Hij zal over u heersen, maar u zult hem dienen. But the father gave him a secret. Maar de vader gaf hem een geheim. Give him, use wisdom to give him an outlet. Om hem een uitgang te geven. He said, when you become restless. Hij zei, wanneer u rusteloos wordt. You will break his yoke from off you. Zijn juk van u afbreken. He said, I cannot reverse his blessing. Hij zei, ik kan zijn zegen niet omkeren. I cannot reverse. His prosperity. Ik kan zijn voorspoed niet omkeren. He'll be blessed in the city and out of the city. Hij zal gezegend zijn in de stad en buiten de stad. He'll be blessed in the basket and in his warehouse. Hij zal gezegend zijn in de in zijn huis. Men and women will go out of their ways to bless him. Mannen en vrouwen zullen uit hun weg gaan om hem te zegenen. Because of the blessing, his potential will multiply. Vanwege zijn zegen zal zijn potentie vermenigvuldigd worden. He will be greater than you. Hij kan groter dan jij. They will know him before they will know you. Ze zullen hem kennen voordat ze u kennen. In fact, the reason why they will know you is because of him. Is vanwege hem. He will carry the heritage of the line. Ze zullen de erfenis van de lijn dragen. When you become restless, his yoke will break from your neck. I want to give you an advice tonight. Ik wil u een advies geven vanavond. Become restless. Word rusteloos. Become restless. Word rusteloos. Become restless. Word rusteloos. So that the yoke can be broken from off your life. Van uw leven afgebroken. If you are still with me, say amen. Als u nog met mij bent, zeg amen. When you become restless. When you become restless. So I saw people that had mental illnesses. I saw people with mental illnesses. We prayed together for many years, and the Lord reversed it. I saw it. And the Lord reversed it. I saw it. I saw it. I have seen it. I have seen it. When you become restless. When you become restless. His yoke will break from off your neck. Zal zijn juk breken van uw nek. Tonight I came to make you restless. Vanavond ben ik gekomen om u rusteloos te maken. I came to make you restless. Ik ben gekomen om u rusteloos te maken. Those strange dreams that you've been having. Die vreemde dromen die u heeft. From when you knew yourself as a young girl to this day. Wat toen u zelf kende als een jonge dame. They are indications of entrances or portals of access van ingang of portalen, toegang, that have been secured in your lineage. Die zeker zijn gesteld in uw lineage. And now you are born again, but that door is still open. En nu bent u weer erom geboren, maar die deur is nog steeds open. Because you have not yet become restless. Omdat u nog niet rusteloos bent geworden. And the pattern en het patroon of ladies not being able to get married in your family die niet kunnen trouwen in uw familie. It's beginning to play out in your life. Begint uit te spelen in uw leven. Because you you did not become restless to shut that door. Omdat u niet rusteloos bent geworden. Die deur te sluiten. I came to make you restless. Ik kwam om u rusteloos te maken. When you become restless, wanneer u rusteloos wordt, his yoke will be broken from your neck. Zal zijn juk verbroken worden van uw nek. Sicknesses that goes and comes. Ziektes die komen en gaan. And you are like a captive. En ik ben als een gevangene. Fully mobilized by the grace of God. Volledig mobiel door de genade van God. But yet limited by this infirmity of darkness. Maar gelimiteerd door deze zwakte van duisternis. Tonight. Vanavond. Is your night. Is uw avond.
there was this man, you, you, you don't, all his ancestors died at the age of 50. En was deze man, al zijn voorouders stierven op de leeftijd van 50. So when you get to 47 dus in that clan, you are an old man already. 47 wordt in die lijn, bent u al een oude man. Because nobody survives 50. Want niemand wordt ouder dan 50. As you are in your 50th year, hoping to transit into 51, the spirit of death will come and visit you. And when you see those patterns, it means that there is a priest of darkness that is among you. That has opened the door for the devil to begin to visit. When you see Satan, when you see Satan see walking among the people, he loped on the men. Don't look for spirits. Zoek dan niet naar geest. Look for men. Zoek naar mensen. There is a man that has opened that door to the devil. Er is een mens die die deur heeft geopend voor de duivel. You know, I told you yesterday that prayer that gebed is earthly permission for heavenly interference. For heavenly interference. Priesthood is earthly permission. Is aardse toestemming for heavenly interference. For heavenly interference. If there is a priesthood of darkness in your family, als er een priesterschap van duisternis is, the wheel of darkness will come to. If there is no counter priesthood of light, als er geen tegenpriesterschap van licht is, that has the same stature with the priesthood of darkness. I know this because I have seen it work. Ik weet het omdat ik heb zien werken. I've seen good brothers, ik heb goede broeders gezien, good sisters, goede zusters, speaking in the Holy Ghost, spreken in de Heilige Geest, speaking in tongues, spreken in tongen, that are still dwelling in bondage, die nog steeds zijn in gebondenheid, because they have not yet understood, omdat ze nog niet hebben begrepen, their responsibility as priests, dat hun verantwoordelijkheid als priesters, to provide earthly permission, is om aardse toestemming te voorzien, for interference, voor hemelse interventie, they have not yet given God, ze hebben God nog niet gegeven, the opportunity that he seeks, de mogelijkheid die hij zoekt, to step into the terrain and reign, om te stappen in de terreinen te heersen, Become restless. Word rustelos. Restless. Rustelos. Some of you sitting here. Some van u hier gezeten. You are not even aware. U bent niet eens bewust that there is a spirit resisting you. Dat er een geest is die u bestaat. And the spirit followed you here. En de geest heeft u hier naartoe gevolgd. As we begin to pray. Hoe we beginnen te bidden. And the Holy Spirit begins to deal with destructions. And the Holy Spirit begins to deal with destructions. Then you begin to see symptoms. Then you begin to see symptoms. Begin to see. Begin to manifest. That they begin to manifest. What we want to do tonight, to achieve tonight, what we want to achieve tonight, is to ensure that every one of us is free from destructions. Free from destructions. Free is from destructions. A young man was in an office. A young man was on a kantoor. He had his first degree. Had his first diploma. He degrees his degree diploma. Okay, all right. First degree. His first diploma. And then he applied to the office. And then he got a. So allow him go to the United Kingdom for masters. He did an aanvraag om naar Engeland te gaan voor zijn masters. After a long time. Na een lange tijd. They approved. Hadden ze het goed gekeurd? His master's program. Na zijn master's programma. And even though the office was supposed to sponsor the program. En ook om ze het kantoor het programma sponsoren. They declined sponsorship. Ze hadden sponsorschap afgewezen. They just approved that he should go and study. Ze hadden alleen goed gekeurd dat hij ging studeren. He has someone in the United Kingdom, some relatives. En had iemand in Engeland familieleden. They put money together. Ze hadden geld bij elkaar gebracht. Paid for the program. Betaald voor het programma. Started the program. Begon het programma. As he began to advance in the program. En hoe hij vooruitgang in het programma. The department now saw that he was he was excellent. Dag zag de afdeling nu dat hij uitmuntend was. He was on distinction. Weet u, hij was uitzonderlijk. So they said, okay. Dus ze zeiden. Start a PhD program. Begin een PhD programma. This time is scholarship. En dit keer is het gewoon een een. So he was doing masters. Dus hij deed masters. And doing PhD. En PhD. At the same time. Tegelijkertijd. He finished. Hij maakte het af. Got the masters. Kreeg zijn masters. Finished. Maakte het af. Got the PhD. Kreeg zijn PhD. Within record time. Binnen een goede tijd. And when he went back to Nigeria. En toen hij terug ging naar Nigeria. They sent him for masters. Stuurde ze hem naar voor een masters. He came back with a doctorate. Hij kwam terug met een doctoraat. So the man that approved his study leave. Dus Are you with me? Die zijn studiepapier dat goed gekeurd. He has a master's. The man that approved has a master's. So when he came back, he became the boss of that man. No, no, don't come. 
That's how you will go and receive promotion. You don't have the spine to survive the battle that comes with it. Om de te die komt. This man, Deze man rose up from the office on Friday steeg op, of kwam van het kantoor op vrijdag and went to the people that are in custody of the spirits of the underworld. En hij ging naar de mensen die die, die behouden de geesten van Because de onderwereld. Because he felt it was an insult for that young boy. Want hij voelde dat het een belediging is van die jonge man. To come and become his head. Om te komen en zijn hoofd te worden. So he went to the people that are in charge of spirits. Dus hij ging naar de mensen die leiding hebben over geesten. Took the boy's name there. En nam de naam van de jongen daar. Took his picture en there. En nam zijn foto mee. And from that place. En vanaf die plaats. They sent insanity. By the time they came to work on Monday, Toen hij op werk kwam op maandag, the young doctor was mad. Die jonge dokter was gek geworden. So they had to restore the position back to the man. Dus ze moesten die positie weer teruggeven aan die man. And the young doctor was in the psychiatric ward. En de jonge man was in een, in een gekke huis. That's a PhD holder. Als iemand die een PhD had, had lost his mind. Die zijn verstand had verloren. One of the destructions that I want to bring to your notice. Een van de verwoestingen die ik wil aanlichten, aankaarten. Is mental illness. Zijn mentale ziektes. If you have never seen it before, you don't know what I'm talking about. Als je nog nooit iets heeft gezien, weet u niet waar ik het over heb. So when I say become restless. Dus als ik zeg word rusteloos. You need to take it seriously. Dan moet u het serieus nemen. Because this, this my evening session is dedicated to destructions. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Now, before we start the practical, in order for you to be in a position to resist destruction, so that you in staat kunt zijn om verwoestingen te weerstaan. You must belong to Jesus. Moet u behoren tot Jezus. If you are here tonight, als u hier bent vanavond, you have not given your life to Christ. En u heeft uw leven nog niet aan Christus gegeven. Even gegeven, though you heard me teach, ook heeft u me horen onderwijzen. And you saw that there were destructions in your life. En u zag dat er verwoestingen waren in uw leven. Things that have been planted like a time bomb. Dingen die zijn geplant als een tijdbom. Designed to derail your destiny. Ontworpen om uw bestemming van reis te halen. And you want to receive immunity from Jesus. En u wil immuniteit ontvangen van Jezus. Anywhere you are. Overal waar u bent. You want to give your life to Christ. U wilt uw leven aan Christus geven. So that you can be ready. Zodat u geschreven kan worden. To break beyond the barrier. Om verder te breken dan de barrière. And the resistance. En de weerstand. If that's what you are saying. Als dat is wat u zegt. Pastor. Pastor. I want to make peace with Jesus. Ja, ik wil vrede maken met Jezus. I want to make peace with the Son of God. Ik wil vrede maken met de Zoon van God. So that I will become the one that will be responsible. Zodat degene zal worden die verantwoordelijk is. For breaking the yoke that is upon my family. Om het juk te verbreken wat op mijn familie is. If you are here. Als u hier bent. And you want to give your life to Christ. En u wilt uw leven aan Christus geven. It's simple. You just put your right hand on your chest. U plaats uw rechterhand op uw borst. Anywhere you are. Waar u ook bent. Put your right hand on your chest. Plaats uw rechterhand op uw borst. If your right hand is on your chest. Als uw rechterhand op uw borst is. If your right hand is on your chest. Als uw rechterhand op uw borst is. Stand up where you are sitting so that I can see. Gaat u dan staan waar u gezeten bent zodat ik u kan zien. Right hand on your chest. Rechterhand op uw borst. And then stand up so that the preacher can see you. En gaat u staan zodat de prediker u kan zien. Right hand on your chest. Rechterhand op uw borst. Stand up so that the preacher can see you. En gaat staan zodat de prediker u kan zien. So if you are standing. Dus als u staat. Anywhere you are. Overal waar u bent. Come to me here. Komt u hier naar mij toe. So that I can lead you to Christ. Zodat u kan leiden naar Christus. Now listen. At a critical moment like this, what the devil wants to do is to make you busy so that you start moving around the whole place. Resist that vehemently. I'm still waiting for you. You want to give your life to Christ. Forget about. Hey, hey, hey! Wait, wait. Wacht u. Um, wait. Wacht u. Don't clap again. You've clapped Klap enough meer, for one week. Genoeg voor één week geklapt. This is a serious matter. It's not entertainment. Dit is serieuze zaak. Het is geen vermaak. We are not doing entertainment. We doen geen vermaak. Even you clapping, you need to begin to examine your life. Zoals u die klapt, u moet uw leven onderzoeken. Please don't clap again. Klapt u alsjeblieft niet meer. If you are here, 
Als je hier bent. And as I'm speaking to you, God is beginning to knock at the door en ik of your heart. God begint te kloppen aan de deur van uw hart. I need to tell you something that knock will not last forever. Ik wil iets zeggen die dat geklop zal niet eeuwig duren. And that's why the Bible says that when you hear his voice. Daarom zegt de Bijbel wanneer jullie zijn stem hoort. Do not harden your heart. Verhard dan uw hart niet. So if you hear the knock. Dus als je het geklop hoort. You can rise up from your feet. Dan kunt u opgaan staan van uw stoel. And join these ones that are out here. En u staan bij degene. And you have staan. two minutes to make that decision. Twee minuten om die beslissing te maken. No one is forcing you. Niemand dwingt u. It will be a personal decision that you have to make. Het zal een persoonlijke beslissing zijn. So if you are still there on your seat. Als u nog daar bent op uw stoel. And the Holy Ghost is knocking on your heart. En de Heilige Geest klopt op uw hart. Despise the person sitting by your side. Ondanks het feit de, van de persoon die naast u zit. And take your stand with Jesus. En neem uw stand the met Jezus. The Bible Jesus. says. The Bible zegt. If you are ashamed of me. Als u beschaamd bent voor mij. In this broken world. In deze gebroken wereld. I will be ashamed of you in the kingdom of my father. If you are not ashamed of him, him as he's knocking now, rise up and come here. Sta op en komt you hier. have two minutes to make the decision. Om die te maken. We cannot talk about destructions We niet over and you are not born again en u bent niet and you are expecting destructions to leave en u you. Dat u they are spiritually motivated. Zijn you have no authority as an unbeliever dus to stand against als een the spirit that is behind destruction. Om te staan tegen de geest die achter so I'm zit. still waiting for you. There's one more minute dus ik wacht nog. Er is nog één for you. Minuut. You can join us out here you can nog hier komen for staan. Jesus to take the center stage of your life. So that Jesus het middelpunt van uw leven I remember when I said yes to Jesus. Ik herinner toen ik ja zei tegen Jezus. Many Jesus. years ago. Vele jaren geleden. Until this moment I am moment not regretting that heb decision. Heb ik geen spijt gehad van die beslissing. Hallelujah. Amen. Those of you that are out here, Zij die hier zijn, what you are about to do is a serious thing. Wat u op punt staat te doen is iets serieus. And I like you to do it with all of your heart. En ik wil dat u doet met uw gehele hart. Hallelujah. Amen. Now I want to give you words with which to speak to Jesus. Ik wil Jesus. woorden geven waarmee u kunt spreken tot Jezus. There is no monarch, no king as great as Jesus. Er is geen monarchie, geen koning wat groter is dan Jezus. So I want to give you words to address him. Dus ik wil u woorden geven om hem aan te spreken. Say Lord Jesus. Zeg Heer Jezus. Say, Lord Jesus. Zeg, Heer Jezus. I accept. Ik accepteer. That I am a sinner. Dat ik een zondaar ben. I cannot help myself. Ik kan mezelf niet helpen. Have mercy on me. Heb barmhartigheid op mij. Wash me. Was mij. In your blood. In uw bloed. Write my name. Maak je mijn naam. In the book of life. In het boek van leven. Every covenant. Elk verbond. I entered into. Waar ik in ben gegaan. Knowingly. Bewust. Or unknowingly. Of onbewust. Let his power. Er is kracht. Over my soul. Over mijn ziel. Be broken. Laat deze kracht over mijn ziel verbroken worden. Geef me de genade. To live for you. Om voor u te leven. All the days of my life. Al de dagen van mijn leven. In Jesus name. In Jesus naam. Amen. Amen. Do we have any counselor to see this our guests here? Hebben we iemand die deze gasten kan opnemen? I'd like you to see this our counselor. Deze... She will take your details. Tell you one or two things, and then release you to come and join the miracle service. Please go with her. Just for two minutes. Two minutes, please. Now listen. The decision to walk with the Lord is a very, very important decision. Om te wandelen met de Heer is een hele belangrijke beslissing. And when people are about to make a choice for Jesus, don't constitute a hindrance. Laat dat geen hindernis zijn. To that moment that the Lord has been seeking for many years. Voor dat moment waar de, ja, de Heer al jaren naar zoekt. Don't do that. Doe dat niet. Because the cost of one of those lives is much een, more than everything that was spent to put this meeting van together. Een dat, van dat leven is meer waard dan alles wat we hebben gebruikt om dit samen te brengen. The cost for the soul of one of those individuals de waarde van is een the van blood die of Jesus. Is het bloed van Jezus. So we are giving Jesus an opportunity to have a return on his investment. Dus we geven Jezus de kans om een, een terugkering te geven op zijn op zijn so investering. So don't stand in the way of Jesus. Dus sta niet in de weg van Jezus. By becoming insensitive to the gravity 
of the moment. Omdat we ongevoelig zijn voor de grootte van het moment. The Lord will give us understanding in Jesus name. Dat de Heer ons begrip geeft in Jesus name. All right, this is time for practicals. En nu is het tijd voor praktische dingen. You will rise on your feet. Je zult gaan staan. We we'll do this practicals for. We we'll doen dit praktische. 20 minutes or 30 minutes. Voor 20 of 30 minuten. And destructions will be destroyed. En verwoestingen zullen vernietigd worden. In the name of Jesus Christ. In de naam van Jezus Christus. In the name of Jesus Christ. In de naam van Jezus Christus. The first thing I want to say. Het eerste wat ik wil zeggen. Now listen to me. Luister toe. If you have not stepped out of this arena. Als u niet buiten deze arena bent gestapt. Until this time. Tot aan nu. Make. Try as much as possible for you not to be distracted now. Probeer zoveel mogelijk om niet nu afgeleid te zijn. Okay? Okay. All right, so. I will give you a few sets of prayer points. Ik geef je een aantal sets van gebedspunten. And as we pray those prayer points, en hoe we die gebedspunten bidden, the Lord will begin to reveal some cases. Zal de Heer een aantal zaken beginnen te openbaren. Some cases that we need to deal with that are present here. Zaken waarmee we moeten afhandelen die hier aanwezig zijn. Then He will release His power, zijn kracht vrijlaten, and His angels. He will release His power and His angels. Zijn kracht en zijn engelen vrijlaten. And many things will begin to take place. En vele dingen zullen plaatsvinden. And you will step into that position of victory en that God has ordained for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Most, most of the entry points that Satan secures. Meeste van de toegangspunten die Satan zeker stelt. Against the lives of men. Tegen de levens van mensen. Are secured on the premise of the family that you come from. Worden zeker gesteld op het van de op de familie waar u vandaan komt. If you are a Bible student, you will know what we call the principle of inheritance. Als u een Bible student bent, weet wat we noemen het principe van erfenis. The principle of inheritance is littered across the entire scripture. Principe van erfenis is door het gehele woord te vinden. For instance, Jesus is called the son of Abraham. Bijvoorbeeld, Jezus wordt de zoon van Abraham genoemd. Jesus is called the son of David. Jesus was the son of David. Jesus is called the son of man. Jesus was the man's son. Jesus is called the son of God. Jesus was the son of God. Jesus is called the seed of the woman. Jesus was the seed of the woman. So those are his five titles. So those are his five titles. In these five titles. And in these five titles. Two of the titles are linked to inheritance. Twee van de titels zijn gelinkt aan erfenis. Because it was Abraham that God began the project of redemption with. Want het was Abraham met product van redding mee begon. It was him that was in all of the Chaldees that God called out of his country and out of his kindred and out of his father's house. Het was God die hem riep uit zijn omgeving, zijn vaders huis. That which God began with Abraham. Dat wat God begon met Abraham. Found its fulfillment in the sacrifice of Jesus. Onze vervulling in het offer van Jezus. Are you are you there? Bent u daar? And that is what Galatians chapter 3 speaks about. En dat is waar Galaten hoofdstuk 3 over spreekt. You will see the principle of inheritance littered across scripture. Door het gehele woord zien. Because God operates transgenerationally. Want God werkt transgenerationaal. That's why inheritance is a critical factor. En daarom is erfenis is heel kritisch. The context. De context. From when Satan secures his major entry point into Finding the handle to manipulate destiny. Waar Satan een grote toegang vindt om bestemmingen te manipuleren. Family. Is familie. Until you break out. You know, I told you my story. Ik vertelde u mijn verhaal. I broke out of the realm of control. Ik ben uit die ruimte van controle losgebroken. That was launched against my family. Wat gelanceerd was tegen mijn familie. Ik ben daarvan losgebroken. Yes, I was born again. Ik was wederom geboren. But that resistance still exists. Maar die weerstand bestond nog. But you know, God does not hide you from battle. Maar God verbergt u niet van strijd. In salvation, He gives us the equipment to war. That's what happens. In redding geeft het ons de middelen om oorlog te voeren. So you will need to exercise the authority over the symptoms that you find around your family. Dus je moet je autoriteit uitoefenen over de symptomen die je vindt op je familie. In order for you to enter into the reality of the things that God has promised. Zodat u in de realiteit kan gaan van de dingen die God heeft beloofd. So we are going to do warfare for 20 minutes. Dus we gaan 20 minuten oorlogsvoering doen. First line of warfare. Eerste lijn van oorlogsvoering. That we are asking tonight. Wat we vanavond vragen. Every legality. 
elke legaliteit. That is in my family. Wat is in mijn familie? That gives Satan the premise. Wat Satan de toestemming geeft. To resist my destiny. Om mijn bestemming te weerstaan. Let it be broken this Laat night. Laat deze avond verbroken worden. Listen to me. Luister I u. told you that you should not clap again Ik this night. Ik heb gezegd dat u niet meer moet klappen vanavond. If you really understood what I'm explaining, Als u wat ik the uitlegde, result of my explanation is not supposed to be a hand de clap. Van mijn uitleg, daar hoort geen bij. I said we have clapped enough for one week. Ik zeg, we hebben genoeg geklapt voor één week. No more clapping geen again. Geklap meer. Even if you are moved to clap, Zoals fall. Just, om te klappen, fall instead gewoon. of clapping, fall on the In ground. In plaats van klappen, fall op de grond. Oh, okay, they are not interested in the prayer. Oh. Okay, zijn niet geïnteresseerd in het gebed. <laughs> I didn't know that that was what you were telling me by the clap of wat u wilde zeggen door het geklap. I didn't know you were telling me preacher is enough. Is dat u zegt ja, prediker is genoeg. Now let me tell you something. Ik wil u wat vertellen. You are not aware of. Waar u niet bewust van bent. The spirit of death is on two people in this hall. De geest van dood is op twee mensen in deze zaal. If we don't do anything about it, I, you know, I didn't want to speak plainly. Ik wil gewoon niet gewoon spreken. I wanted us to be praying. Weet but wilt ook bidden. From the way I see that you are not maar van hoe ready. Ik zie dat u niet klaar Let bent. me tell you what is happening. Ik wil u zeggen wat er gebeurt. Before I come down from here, voordat ik hier naar beneden kom, the two individuals that the spirit of death is haunting will be arrested. Waar de geest van Before I come down from here, worden. to confirm that what I'm telling you is not a joke. Dat wat ik u zeg geen grap is. Death. Dood. It's on two individuals here. It's op twee individuen hier. Two individuals. Twee individuen. First prayer point. Eerste gebedspunt. Lord. Hier. Any legality. Elke legaliteit. That gives Satan access to my life. Die Satan toegang geeft tot mijn leven. That is rooted in my family. Wat geworteld is in mijn familie. That is rooted in my bloodline. Wat geworteld is in mijn bloedlijn. Let it be destroyed today. Laat het vandaag vernietigd worden. Make that your prayer right now. Maak dat nu uw gebed. Forget about your neighbor. Forget about your neighbor. Vergeet uw buren. So faliango mandila seke bronde. Yai tombe si ko braman teli alo. O si kombrela. Yai kombe si ko baba malatale teli. Eko si mandali a keskombala O sondo ro ko sondo Iko robo sondo robo si ko presku vilaite Ando se ni a kora masanteli Eko se ko praski tombendo koria Mandela urakasi iko brandeli Iko brandeli asiko brakatala. Yai konsama kuria brasketo bandeli. Anto vila baba bo satelia. Ika makaya to sabelate. Yanto kumbre isko bera mantala. Akai komba bande. Akai gonseli mandali. Raka bonsama kuria. Ebrokote bakaskita Brenda Makondo Ya la 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 Jama mabarataya Jama skendo masante Eko presko bilakande Ya branda babolakande Ya los kombre Bande la suka bambala Eso kendolia Esa mina kantelia Esa sale mantoria Esa sika pre Esa Saloma Coria, Abama Cateliato, Embrocose, Embrocose, Racatala do de Baa, 
I can tomenaila esoka ba 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 roko sabatania endo loborotesi. Lord, we give you praise. Ila boli asiko lando si landa masi entoreka si brakaito salabonda brakaito skilo batami. Antolia Kante, Brekesa Sola, Brekesa Sola, Anta Mando Si, Anta Barakasi, Entobre, Mahadolia, Mahadolia, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now listen. Listen to As we pray. Who will be them? The demons that have been assigned to watch over those covenants. The demons that have been assigned to watch over these covenants. Will begin to tremble. Zullen beginnen te beven. Then the individuals the in, implicated by the prayer points. Die geraakt worden door het gebedspunt. Will begin to manifest. Zullen beginnen te manifesteren. Then we will now conduct deliverance. En nu zullen we dan bevrijding doen. Are you following? Volgt u mij? So this is a deliverance session. Dus dit is een bevrijding sessie. It's a deliverance session. Een bevrijding sessie. Demons will come out of people Demons today. Demons zullen vandaag uit mensen komen. Please, please do me a favor. Doe mij alsjeblieft een gunst. I like you to understand that. When some of these things are manifesting, ik wil dat u begrijpt wanneer sommige de- van deze dingen manifesteren. It is not the people. Het zijn niet de mensen. It is what is behind. Het is wat daar achter zit. The covenants. Achter verbonden zit. So don't look at the people with the eyes dus of what is going on now. Met de ogen van wat is er nu aan de hand. Because we are in the theater. Want we zijn in het theater. You ever visited the theater? It looks bloody. En weet u het ziet er bloedig uit. All right. So. That's where we are. Dus dat so, is waar we zijn. A lot of bloody things will be available. Dus heel veel bloedige but dingen zullen plaatsnemen. Focus plaats on your life. Maar focus on your life. Op uw leven. Now I saw an altar. Ik zag een altaar. An altar that was raised in the name of the spirits of the water. Een naam wat opgericht was in de naam van de geesten van het water. An altar that was raised in the name Altaar, wat op doen staan the is. In, in de naam in the water. van de geesten die in het water zitten. I saw that altar. Ik zag dat altaar. There are some people here er zijn sommige mensen hier. That are victims of that altar. Die slachtoffers zijn van dat altaar. And the spirit from that altar is still influencing their lives. En de geest van dat altaar beïnvloedt hun Even leven nog steeds. They are born again. Ook al zijn ze wederom geboren. We, are going to pray. We gaan bidden. And we are going to address the altar. En we gaan dat altaar aankaarten. The altar, you will see the effect of this prayer. Je zult het effect van dit gebed zien. The altar that has been raised. Altaar wat op, op, opgewekt is. In the name of the spirits of the water. In de naam van de geesten van het water. We bring you down. We halen u neer. The altars that have been raised. De altaren die opgewekt zijn. In the name of the spirits of the water. In de naam van de geesten van het water. We bring you down. We halen je neer. Raise your voice right now. Hef je stem nu. We bring you down. We halen je neer. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We bring you down. We halen je neer. Si a gombe la ise, si a mala bondeli, a e gombe suke braski to babala, yando kore basile, a brai kondeli no sambulatwa, e gombe sovila konzamila adele, shaba bo kori a braska tamilaya, a yando bobo si gombe, Oria babo santo, endo se resco pila cavolo deli, ya toma santoria, elia ke mama. Elia ke mama. Elia ke mama. Eso sería Cobeli, Gemini Compasuala, 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Heer. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now, also ask what you will do for us. Nu order werkers wat u gaat doen. As we pray, if you notice manifestations, bring the people to one location so that at the end. We we'll just conduct so that we'll end deliverance in one place and will not have to move around. Now, I want to decree something quickly. I want to make a decree. Ik wil een afkondiging maken. Father, tonight, Father, vanavond, anyone that is in this room, iedereen die in deze ruimte is. Anyone that is under the sound of my voice. Iedereen die is onder het geluid van mijn stem. On ground or online. Op de hier of online. That is being manipulated. Die gemanipuleerd wordt. By an altar. Door een altaar. Raised in the name of the spirits of the water. Opgewekt in de naam van de geesten van het water. I ask. Ik vraag. Stretch forth your hand. Strek uw hand voort. Locate them. Localiseer ze. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Covenants, verbonden, agreements, overeenkomsten, that ties men and women, die man en vrouwen binden, to spirits, aan geesten. Tonight is a night of deliverance. Vanavond is een avond van bevrijding. Yes, I'm still seeing the chains. Ik zie de ketenen There's still someone steeds. that is chained. Er is nog steeds iemand die geketen is. I can see the chains. Ik kan de ketenen zien. And the chains are beginning to break. En de ketenen beginnen te breken. I command the chains to Ik break. Ik beveel de ketenen om I te breken. I command the chains to break. Ik beveel de ketenen om te breken. I command the chains to break. I say break. Ik zei break. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. One of the symptoms that reveals Een van de symptomen die openbaart the presence of these spirits of the water de aanwezigheid van de geesten van het water is that they are opposed to the marriage institution. Is dat ze tegen het huwelijkssysteem komen. You find a very terrific difficulty to be able to settle in marriage. Je ziet gewoon heel dat het heel moeilijk is om te settelen in het huwelijk. It doesn't matter how the courtship is going, the relationship. Hoe de relatie gaat. It will break for no just reason. Het breekt voor een ongeldige reden. Can we pray tonight? Kunnen we bidden vandaag vond? Can we pray? Kunnen we bidden? All right. So these are the words of the prayer. Say, Lord. Dit zijn de woorden van bed. Zeg hier. Every hindrance. Elke verhindering. To marriage. Natuurlijk. In my life, in my life, let it be destroyed. Let it be destroyed. Raise that prayer up to Him. Have this gebed naar Him op. So ye kobi maman tora kasi, yalo si kobre ko bolose kaminaita. Alabro kose tabakuri abande Yena koto mokori abari na sante Ebris kofe tamonde la kadi hese kendo Hese kendo mami la koni ate Koni asanto mokondo
Destructions must bow. Illegal unions in the spirit must dissolve. The lives of men must be transformed. In the name of Jesus. The spirits of the water are responsible for immorality. And I see that there are some among us that are bound by spirits of immorality. Tonight is your night of liberty. If you are sincere, if you are sincere to God, He will bring deliverance your way tonight. There is one there's an individual in the crowd. Is an in the this person that I'm talking about really person. wants to be free from immorality. Echt worden van immoraliteit. But the, the will is weak. Maar de wil is zwak. The will is weak. The will is zwak. When you find out that you cannot just make a decision and change your lifestyle. Als je gewoon merkt, ja, kun je gewoon een beslissing maken, kun je levensstijl veranderen. The spirit is involved. Dan is er een geest betrokken. Something superior to the authority of your will is involved. Iets hoger dan je eigen wil is betrokken. If you are here tonight. Als je hier bent vanavond. And you know that there is a yoke of immorality on your life. Dat er een juk is voor immoraliteit op je leven. And you want to be free. En je wilt vrijgezet worden. You can come. Dan kunt u komen. You know your undoing will be shame if you decide to yield to shame. Als u luistert uit ongedaan worden zal leiden tot schaamte. That will be your undoing. Als u wilt luisteren naar schaamte. But God is here tonight. Maar God is hier. He wants to set you free. Hij wilt u vrijzetten. He wants to deliver you. Hij wilt u bevrijden. If you are not ashamed. Als u niet beschaamd bent. You will find help. Dan zult u hulp vinden. You are laboring under the yoke of u immorality. Onder het juk van immoraliteit. You you tried to stop. U geprobeerd om te stoppen. But the power Maar de kracht that is responsible for the immorality is for the seems to be stronger than your will. Sterker te zijn dan uw wil. A spirit Een geest is controlling Beheerst u. that aspect of your life. Beheerst dat aspect van uw leven. As you come out, Hoe u naar buiten bent begin gekomen, to repent. Begin te bekeren. Repent of immorality. Bekeer van immoraliteit. Repent right now. Bekeer nu. And ask God for mercy. En vraag God voor and in a moment of time, in moment van the hand of God will come upon you. Hand van God over u heen you komen. can repent right now. U kunt nu you can repent right now. U kunt nu you can repent right now. U kunt nu and for those of us in the congregation, voor zij van ons in de stretch forth your hands toward them and support them. Naar hun uit en ondersteun ze. Support them. Ondersteun ze. If you are still there, don't hide in the congregation. Als u nog daar bent, schuil niet in de if menigte. there is a challenge in the Als area of immorality in your life, op het gebied van immoraliteit in uw leven, cry to him. Roep uit naar hem. He wants to break the yoke on your life. Hij wil het juk verbreken van uw leven. He wants to break that yoke. Hij wil dat juk verbreken. He wants to break that yoke tonight. Hij wil dat juk vanavond verbreken. When you become restless. Wanneer u rusteloos wordt. That yoke will break. Dan zal dat juk breken. The yokes will begin to break. 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 The hand of God will begin to break the yokes. Begin the yokes to break. The yoke of immorality will break. The yoke of immorality will break. Break. Bit. Break. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of 
conheces. That yoke, that yoke, it gives way. It breaks. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. It breaks. It breaks. It breaks. It breaks. From your life. From your life. Lose her. Let her loose. Lose her. Let her loose. Let the yoke break. Let the yoke break. Be released. Be freegelaten. Be released from the yoke. Be freegelaten from the yoke. You have a destiny. You have a destiny. You have a destiny in God. You have a destiny. On righteousness, we resist your destiny. Today we disconnect you. We unbind the baby. From that spirit of immorality. From the geest of immorality. Be free. Wees vrij. Be released. Wees vrijgelaten. 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 In the name of Jesus. In de naam van Jezus. There are mighty ministers among you. And the devil wants to fight your ministry. He wants to find your purpose. But tonight, we release you from the bondage, from the yoke. Be free. Be free. Be free. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Be free. Jesus. Be free. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free. Be free in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. So now you will let her go. You will let her go now. You will let her go now. I disconnect you from her umbilical cord. I release her from your hold. In the name of Jesus, you will let her go. Okay. Um, are you an usher? Come. If I talk, if I touch you, you can go back. Yeah, go. Go. Let the yoke break in the name of Jesus Christ. Use him as your vessel. Let this yoke not hold him down. Let grace come upon your life in the name of Jesus. Grace, 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 in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, grace come upon him.
Okay, okay. Before I run away, I want to run away now. Listen to me. Don't stop. 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 Listen. Monica is not coming today. Listen. The spirit of death is following two people in this congregation. And we will need to deal with that spirit before I escape. This is what you will do. You raise your right hand and be quiet. Ossas, watch out. Father, in the name of Jesus, those ones in the congregation that the spirit of death has been haunting, find them. Find them. Find them. Find them. Find them. Find them. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Find them. Find them. Find them. Find them. When you are dealing with the spirit of death, and I need to show us how the spirit of death operates. I you say, Komi ala kulia prasketa. I destroy the yoke of death that you have been carrying all this while I command the yoke break I destroy the yoke of death that you have been carrying in the name of Jesus break break I destroy the yoke of death that you have been carrying in the name of Jesus. Break! I destroy the yoke of death that you have been carrying in the name of Jesus. Break! I destroy the yoke of death I destroy the yoke of death that you have been carrying in the name of Jesus. Break! 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 I so call miracle. The final prayer you are praying because the door is open now. You must enter into the open door. You must enter into the open door. You want to say, Lord. You want to say, God. Lord. Here. I enter. I go now. Into the open door. In the open door. Tonight. Vanavond. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Make that your prayer point Make tonight. Make that your prayer point.
over your life is broken. Let Jacob for your life is broken. Arise. Stop. Step into your destiny. And stop in your destiny. The hand of God is upon you. The heaven is in up. The spirit of God is upon you. The grace from the head is up. The grace of God is upon you. The hand of God is up. It's upon you. It's up you. It's upon you. And it's up you.
When you become restless, his yoke will break from off your neck. It is the will of God for us to experience enlargement, victory and liberty. And the devil does not want you to be free. But tonight, there is a proclamation in the spirit. It is the day of your liberty in the name of Jesus. Bondages that result from illegal unions. And you've been having this dream of being someone coming to defile you in your dreams. It's, it's... You've been having that? It's a sign for that illegal union to be dissolved. Now. We dissolve that illegal union. We proclaim your liberty. Freedom. In the name of Jesus. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Let the hand of God work a miracle right now. In the name of Jesus. We dissolve that union. As we proclaim your liberty tonight, it is a night of freedom. Be thou free by the power that is in the blood of Jesus. We annul that union in the spirit. We annul it. We name it void. We name it void. We annul it. We name it void. We name it void. We name it void. Lose her. That her loss. If I touch you and oh my God, I say let it go. Let the union end. Let her go. I disconnect her from you. In the name of Jesus. We annul it right now. Let the union end. Let the yoke be broken. Let the yoke be broken. In the name of Jesus. Receive grace. To stand. And to fulfill your destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. So all these ones here, Lord, we nullify this union. By any means by which these spirits have become factored, bound to these individuals. We uproot it. We annul it. And we separate them from that influence of darkness Lord saturate them cover them take them over they are your property they are your people let the yoke break 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 break, break. break. In the name of Jesus. You cannot remain there. You cannot stay there. We forbid you to stay there. For he sent his word. And it healed him. Sent his word. And it delivered them from all their destructions. And it delivered them from all their destructions. The final thing I will do before I run away is to bless you. I need to bless you. Yeah, so yokes are breaking. Things are coming out. Yeah. Break. 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 Break from that lady. 
break from the dam. Loose her. Let her loose. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Your hold can no longer remain because we have invoked the name of Jesus Christ. Invoke the name of Jesus. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, let the fetters, the chains by which you have been bound, be broken. We release you. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Ah. Yeah. You are released from that union. You are released from that union. The powers that bind men. The powers that bind men. The powers that bind men. I break their yoke from off your life, from off your destiny. I remove them from your body. Lose her. Laat haar los. Ah. So I bring torment upon you. I bring torment upon you, and I command you, let her go. Siako selimo kondeli ya. I bring torment upon you and I command you from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet. Let the chains, the fetters, the cords by which you were bound break, 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 break in the name of Jesus. So tonight, in the name of Jesus Christ, on this great night of Dunamis Convention, I join my brother to proclaim a blessing upon your people in Jesus' mighty name. Grant them entrance into greater mighty things that they know nothing about. That by this time next year, let their mouths be filled with testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. You may go back to your seat. As the man of God is leaving, let us clap our hands for Apostle Aromo Asai. You can do better than that. Clap your hands. Give God the praise. In exactly 10 minutes, we have to be out of the arena. My friends of the building, we are gone in 10 minutes, okay? Give me 10 more minutes and I'm out of the building. Thank you for your patience and your understanding. We appreciate that. If you can sit, you can sit. Thank you so much for your patience. I'm out of your way in 10 minutes, please. Thank you for your geduld, alsjeblieft nog 10 minuten. Please take your seat so that we can do some announcements. Gaat u zitten zodat we aankondigen. And our offering. And ons offer. And then we are leaving this place. En dan gaan we weg. Before I do the announcement. Voordat ik de aankondigingen doe. Everybody look behind you. 
Iedereen kijkt achter u. And tell my two brothers, thank you for your patience. En zeg tegen mijn twee broeders, dank u wel voor uw geduld. Thank you, thank dank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, let us clap for them. Thank Kom you, op, thank you, klappen. thank you. Thank you. Amen. Listen to me. Very important. We are in a visitation. And I know we are in Holland. And Sunday people are tired because Monday you have to go to work. But it's a sin not to be here tomorrow. It took a lot of sacrifices to put this together. And for the man of God to be with us tomorrow. It's from today that we just started benefiting from the grace of Theophilus. And tomorrow he will be with us again. And Apostle Aroma will be here. Let us show them that we stand behind whatever the Lord is doing through them. And be part of this move of the Spirit. We are starting at 2 p.m. And I know that a lot of you have church. Make sure you go to your church. And after you are done, you are coming to swallow. But something is happening here. And we want to finalize what the Lord has been doing. My personal opinion, so far this has been the best dynamis ever. Amen. I have never seen in my 11 years being back from Canada that people have been in church from 7 p.m. till 7 a.m. And the 12 hours of prayer yesterday, it felt like three hours. And it's the doing of the Lord. I got some announcement. Tomorrow, by the way, we are here. Make sure you are here. We, we have the announcement of the, the retreat. Van de retreat. Uh -huh. Where's my wife? Dit is mijn vrouw. Come. Komt u. Please, look, be, look at my friend. Say thank you for your patience. Kijk look at my friend in the back. Dank u wel voor uw geduld. Come. My precious wife. Mijn dierbare vrouw is having her yearly international women's retreat. And it is going to be so, so powerful. And it will so, so krachtig worden. Do I have some women in this place that love to pray? It is going to be so, so powerful. It will so, so krachtig worden. And on behalf of my wife, and namens mijn vrouw, I want to invite every woman to the retreat. Wil ik elke vrouw uitnodigen naar de retreat. Take 20 seconds. And, and Neem 20 seconden. God bless you, everyone. God zegen u iedereen. Um, make sure that you are at the International Women's Retreat of 2023. You know, only during Dunamis, we will have a little discount. But you have to register. And if you want to register now, you can scan the uh, QR code. And you can register right now. You cannot afford to miss this. You saw the 12 hours of prayer that we did yesterday. That's what we do at the retreat. I want you to register. I want you to invite a family, a friend. And be there. I believe that this is the time for woman to rise. The team this year is He shall restore my soul. I believe that God is restoring womanhood. I want to invite you to be there. And I believe that God will change your life. God bless you. And let us clap for Prophet Shannon. Make sure you register. You can scan it with your code right now. And be there. Finally, let us give our offering. Let us give our offering. Be intentional. No. Everything you are seeing here, it took us almost 70,000 euros. Be intentional with your offering. Everything you see here is very expensive. And 
it need to be paid. En het moet betaald worden. Before we pay our offering, Voordat we ons offer geven. my brother Apostle Benjamin, all the way from Angola, is here. Let us clap. And we honor the man of God. Amen. My daughter, Prophetess Ornella, is here. Be on your feet. The Lord bless you. Prophetess Gloria is here. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. They came from far and we appreciate their coming. Let us give our offering and be intentional that everything you see costs a lot of money. So we will ask you for your support while you give your offering. Let us give before we leave this place. Ushers, you can direct them. Let us be in our feet. Laten we gaan staan. And let us give our offering. En laten we ons offer geven. There is no choir that will sing. You can come. Er is geen koor wat zal zingen. Je kunt gewoon komen. No choir will sing. Just come. your drinks you take it with you don't leave your bottles there no chewing gum and RTN we are not leaving we are cleaning the place everybody else can leave if you are from RTN you help us cleaning the place what I will ask from everybody take your bottle take your trash don't leave trash here so that we leave the place in order zodat we de plek in orde achterlaten. All the protocols are gone. All the protocols are gone. Thank you. 